Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome, Calvisha. So last time, we managed to beat the story mode without uh, repeating any story stages, no monster captures, or item world grinding. So I guess we could potentially try our hand at Etna mode. One thing I didn't really talk about, and I think it's important to kind of keep in mind with the upcoming playthrough, is that there's kind of like two sets of XP leveling in this game. So basically, the way to view it is that when we're talking about levels 1 to 99, generally speaking, it was worth stacking them up because you get a lot more XP from 1 to 100 if you increase them, let's say, 10 levels. Like, the difference between a level 30 monster kill and a level 40, or even a level 60, scales really, really high. Offhand, I want to say it's around level 100, the formula ships, where there's not as much of a difference between killing, let's say, five enemies at level 1000 versus an enemy at level 5000. It kind of levels off after the early stages. So, I don't need to combine monsters to get into, like, a super kill. So, at least if we need to play some catch-up experience for other people, we're kind of at the point where it doesn't matter as much, since we're already, presumably, going to be fighting 70-plus enemies. Granted, there might be some other benefits to doing so, like, if we come across bosses, for example, they're going to be worth more money in general. So, there'll still be some opportunities for us to stack. And obviously, if there's any XP booster geotiles, we'll be taking advantage of that. But anyway, chat, we're gonna- <laughs> I guess we'll try to freeform it. I've not played Etna mode before, nor have I gotten a sneak peek at it. So definitely wish me luck, because I have absolutely no idea what to expect. I'm hoping early on, we're gonna find an XP up one. And I think in preparation for that, I might get our units promoted early. So that way I could just kind of sit on it, wait for it to get hopefully an early XP booster, and possibly feed kills to some of our mages. So anyway, that's the game plan. I don't know how realistic that is, if we're even going to come with an XP up. Hopefully if it's like the normal mode of Disgaea, I think it's by like the second or third stage there was one. But we'll see, I guess. Welcome to Parameter. One day that will transition. There we go, that took forever. I guess we'll do our best to clear it. Episode 1, Super Dimensional Etna. King Kridrefskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Okay, so it seems like the beginning of the game so far. Many years later. Hmm. Prince! Okay, so this is... So now we're lit... <laughs> See, had I not read the title out loud, I would have thought we were repeating the beginning of the game. So what's different about this mode? Other than presumably, Etna will be the primary. This brat just won't wake up. Well, if that's the case, there's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the Great Laharl? Whoops. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. Did I kill him? Hmm. Oh well, what can I say? Looks like I'll just have to take on the prince's legacy myself. And the title of Overlord! <laughs> Rip Laharl. Episode 1, Super Dimensional Etna. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I did hear that Laharl wasn't playable. But oh boy. Ooh, interesting stage music. 
So this is the team we gotta win with, chat. We have Kirk. Maybe Rogue Nine is a backup. Parameter's got some levels, but we got nobody else. <laughs> Goodbye all of our other characters. And just to confirm something... Yeah, so unfortunately I mentioned this before in the other part of the playthrough. I did find out that whatever Laharl had on him, we don't get automatically. That's kind of a... That's kind of a big mistake, I'm gonna be honest with you. So if you had important gear on any of the other important characters, uh, that's gone. What this morning, Taurus, to wake up the prince. It's called the Demon Head. The prince was struck with it multiple times, but didn't die. Said he died from a single gunshot? I don't get it. It was made by a famous company to wake the prince. He didn't die from being drilled by this. How did a single shot do him in? It's so odd. Okay, what about the Gatling gun? This is a special Gatling gun from my other netherworld. My little Pazuzu. Oh no, not Pazuzu. Or Pazuzu, close enough. The prince was shot with this multiple times, and didn't die. How did he die from a single shot from a handgun? I don't get it. The special sword was made to make up, wake up the prince. A circular sword called the, called the Zahark. The prince was diced with the sword and didn't die. How could a single shot kill him? I don't understand. Okay, so presumably it'll be like the normal mode where we have to go and hit the switches to get to our secret room. So I'm gonna go do that before we go further. Yeah, so I'd like to press it. Oh, I got stuck on something randomly. Never know what life will throw at you. Day after the bird she killed to get the LNK38. It's true. Yeah, I'm experiencing that right now. Did I hear gunshots? Yup, I accidentally killed the prince. Oh, <laughs> you're so clumsy. Alright, so they're still here providing some commentary. Nothing new over here. My skin is dry these days. What do you expect me to do about it? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. still under construction. You don't look happy. Oh, I know, you're... What? In love, aren't you? Idiot, you're talking to the wrong person. How does it feel to be the main character? Feels great! Hi. Right. Let's go... Oops. Why am I getting the tutorial? Game. 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 I'm in New Game Plus. Why am I? Why am I getting a tutorial? No, I know monsters can only equip weapons for the monster-only weapons. I'm not reading this tutorial. Listen, chat. No, no, no. I came over here to press the switch and talk to this guy. Bird, if you keep smiling, you have good luck. But I got nothing so far. There's a lot I should point out, but forget it. Good luck. Oh boy. Feel a breeze, dude. This castle's getting old. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? There's a piece of paper. Just from the beginning. Oh, okay, so let me explain this. So, I don't know why it's telling us this now, but if we wanted to, we could do the same challenge we did to beat the main game, but do it from level 1. So if I wanted to try to win Etna mode at level 1 all the way through without leveling, I have to input this series of buttons. I mean, it's kind of late to tell me. What is this? Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, is there a problem? Uh, no updates here. Well, let's see if our store rank and everything's intact. Please don't tell me about selection constantly changing. Game, please. Alright, so we're still at rank 9. Our money total is not great. As we did buy a weapon recently. We'll have to save up for another super weapon. It'll probably be a sword. Yeah, yeah, we're going to equip sword. Blah, blah, blah. Game, please. Why is this here? Come on, PC version of Vizcaya. You can remove stuff like that. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, you know I'm going to have to talk to the person that does job class upgrades, and they're going to tell me the same nonsense. I'm not reading it again. Hmm. It is interesting seeing the stat difference between something like the gun, which is 330 hit, and Runex for the same price, which gives 582 attack. 
technically, if I wanted a boss killer weapon, I could get another character to specifically have an axe, because it does have way more attack power than other options. The downside of why I didn't go for the axe from the normal gameplay standpoint is I need to clear a lot of enemies simultaneously, so the sword ended up being kind of a nice neutral ground between the two. I think Fist is also decent, but the problem is that its raw stats are kind of low, so... In the long run, if I'm getting up to like 9 or 10 proficiency in this mode, I would rather have the sword at a similar price, with way higher attack power. Do you know what I mean? Like, a 350 base weapon, so for like 10 to 20% less of the cost, I could get more attack power. That's not saying I couldn't level a fist user, but I'm probably not going to aim for it. Oh, I don't have access to the assembly. Oh. That really sucks. Why don't I have access to it? Well, that's already going to be interesting, right, chat? Uh, okay. Well, I guess I gotta clear the first stage with what I have. I have saved. Don't tell me how to save the game. Disgaea, please. Disgaea, I've literally beaten the game. I don't tutorial me. Miss Etna, where are you going? Um, the Stella Graveyard. Okay, well hopefully this next stage clear will open up the assembly. If I don't have the assembly in like another chapter, or not another chapter, in a few battles or so, that is actually really going to mess me up very badly. Because I would like to create new characters to potentially leech off at XP here while it's still easy. Um, the Stella Graveyard. Please be careful. There are many powerful monsters there. So, I have to just win with what I have, I guess. Wait, what? Wait, I'm so confused. Bonus rank is only two. What? Wait, are we doing... I thought it was supposed to scale with our level. What happened? Why are these now the bonus rank two? I don't think that's correct. I mean, if so, this is going to be a really fast playthrough. They should be, like, rank 20, by the way, right now, chat. Um... Is that a bug with the PC version of the game? I didn't enter a new code to do this. Huh. Unless the monsters are really high level, I guess we'll see. I'm a little confused. But, I mean, it's gonna make Etna mode very Master easy. Etna, we buried the prince for you, dude! Chat has- chat saw me save the game last time, I'm just choosing to play the file. So normally you're supposed to be fighting like level 70-ish people from my understanding, to the point where like if you were to look up a map for this place, the stat block would be between like level 2 people or 70 something. It's supposed to be a continuation of the previous difficulty, but... PC bug? Would he normally die from that? Question mark? The Overlord's son should be able to deflect a couple hundred rounds, no problem. Master Etna, you don't look very happy, dude. What are you talking about? I'm glad that rat's finally dead. In fact, I've never been happier. I bet, dude. He'd boss us around, but he couldn't even figure out how to set the VCR. The bed is stiff, and my food is bland. His complaining sure was annoying, dude. <laughs> it's his own fault for being betrayed by Master Etna, dude. It's his fault, chat, for being betrayed. Yep, it's his fault for dying so easily. But this isn't good. What's the problem, dude? Mission accomplished, right? But that is the problem. Think about it. With the prince gone, he's got no use for me. I just know he's going to betray me. You're too cynical, dude. I think you're going to get a huge reward. Don't be stupid. That'll never happen. Welcome, Granite Knight. Hope you're doing well. Why not? You did your job, dude. Welcome, Kirk. Because if I was him, I'd betray him as me. Hopefully, hopefully it just means the map... Well, actually, that kind of sucks if the map rank is also lower. I guess we'll see, chat. Let, let's see what level they are when we get into this. Maybe... If that's intended for it to be map rank 1, that kind of also sucks. You demons are evil, dude! 
But the prince is dead, dude. Won't he find out eventually? I suppose. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I know. <laughs> you there, you cute little pranny. Come over here, yeah. I have a bad feeling about this, dude. I said get over here. Coming, dude. So what's the plan, dude? Well, only... Wow, fake Laharl. There you go, chat. Dot, dot, dot. Don't tell me that. They're perfect. From now on, you're Prince Laharl. I like the little tape. Dude, you just stuck an antenna on me, dude. Don't worry about it. You look just like the prince. No one will know. Where do you get all of that confidence, dude? Oh, hey, look over there. You really should trust me more. Oh, yeah. All these guys want to be the overlord, so you might want to watch your back. Are you serious? Master Edna, please help me, dude! What are you talking about, Prince? Wouldn't you rather wipe out these losers with your magnificent powers? You guys are my friends, right, dude? We believe in you, Prince, dude! Dude! Okay, moment of truth. Are they high level, or did something weird happen? Okay, they are high level. Just the bonus rank sucks. That's kind of brutal, right, chat? Like, we're in, like, a more difficult mode, but we're getting literally beginning of the game items. I don't know about that. It feels kind of terrible. Well. Hmm. This would be a good opportunity to level people. Maybe I give some kills to Imperimeter here. Do they have, like, super spells? Oh, they do have some magic. They're not, like, crazy stats either. Honestly, Imperimeter might actually survive a hit from these. I guess we could find out. I don't really care if we kill other people. Hi, right, Imperimeter. Time for you time to see how much damage you do by yourself. Oh, you just one shot. Well, that's good. <laughs> right, chat? That's good. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Hope you're doing well. Hmm, so if there's other people I want to level, I could give them XP, potentially. You do something like this. A little Giga Ice into the finisher. Ooh, not quite enough to kill. Kill. I guess I could just protect the important people. Not what I wanted to do. Try that again. I might even be able to combine them to get another kill. You're at the point where they're below 100, so I might combine them into one monster. They died for the cause, chat. Let's combine them then. This should be worth a lot of experience. Start a combo. If Chris gets it, it's fine. If not, Imperimeter is going to clean it up. Ooh, just a little shy. For Kirk not to get it, but let's protect Parameter for now. Let's see what they do. Oh, well, that's fun. Oh, look at that! Rogue Nine tanking it like a beast. Hell yeah! 
Eat some Giga Win to uh, Parameter here. So there we go. So we're getting a lot more mana to work with, so I might be able to create another mage under a Parameter at this point, so he can learn more elements. Then we just need to finish off the final enemy. I mean, our team is actually fairly strong, all things considered. Even with the, like, mid-level characters. The only thing I'm worried about are bosses. Like, the story bosses are going to be very annoying to deal with with mages. But anyway, let's go ahead and just magic boost our brains out. Which again, is going to add to our staff mastery. So no matter what, we're getting stronger. On the Fire King, says in Parameter. Oh, that poor lone zombie. Are you weak to wind? Oh, that's unfortunate for you. Well, I mean, nothing stops me from just doing this again, so I'm just going to. I guess I could also kill my own allies if I need to build meter. And the more I have magic boost, by the way, the better AoE I could get with it. It does make it cost a little more, since I did observe from earlier that the higher skill rank it is, it does small damage boosts. It's probably more impactful for magic because you get more patterns, but it does unfortunately drive the SP cost up. The next turn we're gonna just let loose. Is there anything Chris is trying to learn? Probably start with Chris. So he has... hasn't learned regular ice, but honestly if you have Giga Ice, I don't think it matters. You know, Mega Fire is a really good pickup in case Christy transfers classes. Um, I don't even feel like teaching him regular ice, honestly. I think we could just skip it. So I think Chris at this point needs to get maybe another kill. So he could get a student under him to teach him an element. Although, if I'm going to class rank him up, I, get, I don't think it matters, actually. The only thing I'm going to be missing out is that one of the advanced mages, they learn Omega of every element by itself, so even if I don't learn it now, it doesn't matter. But I don't learn Terra, which requires me to be at a level 100, which is not very likely to happen in this playthrough, to be honest. We're just noting it. It doesn't hurt to at least level our ice moves or fire moves. Let's do what we can here. Yeah, and Parameter learning new abilities is big, because he's going to be switching over to, I think, Star. So he only really needs an Ice Mage under him. You can see this character's range is a little mediocre. I might have in Parameter start things off and try to feed it to Chris. The Parameter's natural staff mastery means he can hit pretty far, which is nice. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use Magic Boost here. Just to make sure that they improve their masteries. Sorry about changing my mind on that. <clears throat> make sure Chris learns stuff if he needs it. I don't really want to feed the kill to Frost. I guess I gotta Frost as a backup if I really need to. gonna do this. I think this is a smarter choice. Ooh, that did less than I thought with Chris. The 50% fire resist mattered. Well, Rogue Nine, we salute you and your efforts here. You might survive this. He did actually survive it. Wow. Good call on my part. Yeah, I want her to just be like the magic boosting queen. I could do Giga Ice by itself. I 
And I think I could just hit enemy weakness here. Perfect. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but at least everybody knows the prince is still alive. <laughs> but won't that make more demons try to kill us, dude? Don't worry. Our mighty Prince Laharo here will crush those fools. But what about demon lords? We can't beat them, dude. Ooh, they'll make perfect examples to show off the prince's power. In fact, I don't even want to wait for those demons to show up. That could be me next. I hope Prince Laharl is up to it, dude. Well, let's just go back to the castle and celebrate the prince's return. All right, dude. I can't believe no one's noticed what's going on, dude! Everybody always hated the prince, so maybe they just don't care! Are you joking? You don't know how much I spent to keep their traps shut. I didn't even notice you were bribing everybody, dude! Oh, and by the way, I paid everybody with your paycheck. You're evil, dude! Reporting in, Master Edna! A new demon named Myers is rapidly gaining popularity, dude! Many demons are joining forces with him, dude! Never heard of him. Leave him be. He's probably just a nobody. Oh no, mid boss is still here. He's after the throne! We gotta deal with him eventually, dude! Ugh. This overlord business is such a pain in the ass. If you don't take him out, he might eat all that pudding from the Sea of Gehenna that you've been hiding in the fridge, dude! What? Ooh, if anyone touches my snacks, they're dead! Wait, how do you know about my stash? I'm just saying, what if, dude? I don't know anything about it. Fine. So, where can we find this demon? Just ask the gatekeeper to take you to Byers Castle, dude! Well, Prince, it's time to strut your stuff. What are you waiting for? Let's go already! Good God, dude! Poor fake Laharo. Those printies make a lot then. Apparently. Oh, thank you, the Dark Assembly's in session. Yeah, I know. I know. Huh? Do you really think anybody can turn me down? Even if they try, I'll make them approve it. I, what a what a relief, chat. I was like, man, you know we're gonna hit like an XP up real early. So I have a decision to make here. Let's go ahead and save. The Roganine has some experience, so if I need to create another character under him, he should be good. Oh, that reminds me. We unlocked a ninja earlier. So technically, if I want to upgrade Rogue Nine, I could make him a ninja. We unlock that by having a male warrior and a brawler at a certain level. But now we have access to the Star Skull. Which I might just make him Parameter right now. I could make a scout if I really want to. They have a really high hit percentage, so if I wanted to fight with guns, they're actually pretty good. Technically, if I wanted to unlock one of the gun classes, I should probably play with them at some point. It is interesting seeing just how many raw classes we have unlocked, despite me barely playing with them. I just... I just looked at Kirk's mannequin. <laughs> okay. Well, Kirk can kind of do whatever Kirk wants at this point, I'm pretty sure, chat. Um... I mean, I can even transmogrify him again if I really wanted to. Is it even worth it? Wow, no approval required still. That's kind of funny. I think he has a plus nine currently, so we could just save up. I'm actually gonna save. I just want to see something. I mean, Kirk getting more XP per level is kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. So I think right now he is the hero class. Kind of hard for me to tell sometimes. I don't see their portrait right away. Oh. Oh, that's a massive stat increase. Wait a minute. Wait. He's a 29? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Chat. Oh no. That's kind of a huge level difference. I'm not going to lie. Um... He's a champion currently, but I mean, look at the stat gain. I think I just go for this. 
Also, why does cancel delete? What happened to my controls? Give me a second. Oh, I see what happened. Weird. I was hitting Y to cancel, but it wasn't doing that. I think I accidentally turned on my PSO controls. I, I just killed a uh, Joy to Key. I mean... I think I just go for this, right? I don't lose anything. Yeah, so he's gonna go from champ to hero. Sure, let's level Kirk up again. I mean, 29 attack a level is gonna be a lot. Like, the, you have to think about it this way. If I'm currently gaining approximately 19 attack per level up, and I'm only gonna level like 10 or 15 times across a chapter, that's a difference of about 190. This one is almost 10 per level, and I can make up almost... At basically level 40, I would be my level 80 self in stats, plus all my other stats got improved. So I think this just kind of win-win for me. There's no reason for me to not do it. Um, I'll unlock Transmigration again with him. We'll, we'll just briefly level him up this way, because I need to potentially do other things. Nice level up. Yeah, at this point I'm more worried about his SP than anything else. So if I need to transmogrify one more time before the end of the run, I'll go do it. We're getting incidental mana. Also, when I did that, did that reset his mana count to zero? It did. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it really matters. If I want to put somebody under him, I still can. I don't think I'm going to undo my thing for that. Because the way I would see it is, at most, I could put one more character under Kirk so he gets more stats. But I'm not in a rush for that. It's kind of one of those things where if somebody ends up under him and they happen to gain 100 attack, he gains 10. Kind of deals, or 1. I forget what the ratio was, if it was 10% or 1%. But either way, it's like... Eh. On the plus side, this is making uh, Rogue 9 potentially out of control. So I potentially want to level up Rogue 9 with a kill and reset him into something else. So I could make Rogue 9 the ninja. If Rogue 9 is here, I'll ask. Otherwise, I'll just make him an improved brawler. The downside with the ninja in this game, I don't think they fixed the bug. They fixed it, I think, in Disgaea 2, but not Disgaea 1. Is Ninja has a natural chance to evade things, and that includes enemy skills. So he's one of the characters that's kind of like nearly impossible to kill. Downside, the original version of this game meant that if you tried healing the ninja, he would just dodge your heal. And that was really whack. I'm gonna let you know, Chad. He was kind of whack in Disgaea 1. Like, he's really fun to play in Disgaea 2, but in Disgaea 1, he's a little, uh... So I don't know if they fixed that particular bug. Which is a bit unfortunate. Anyway, we're just gonna unlock up to Transmogrify again. And this will also give Kirk some stats. I mean, honestly, if you look at his stats now, he's already basically one-shotting things. Now we're just improving our proficiencies. So he can easily hit 2800 attack if we need him to. So I'm not feeling too worried here. Alright, so let's see. Anything else I want to do? Yeah, so Rogue 9 needs to get some kills. Oh, that reminds me. Never healed. Oh my gosh, don't give me the tutorial for the hospital game, please. Sky, please. Okay. So, I don't think we got the Royal Ring yet from this. So, I'm only 80 away from Testament in terms of deaths. I need to hit, I think, 100,000 health for Royal Ring. So, I need more allies damaged. I guess I could rank up Rogue 9 a little bit. Oh, he's already rank 3. Interesting. So he just needs a kill if I want to transmogrify him. So he also potentially could get very tanky. Again, I'll leave that up to Rogue 9 when Rogue 9 is here. So note to self, Rogue 9 needs to get a random kill. Um, I guess Imperameter is good to go, because he hasn't done his promotion exams at all. I guess we'll just keep our abilities the best that we can here. So even if we lose some of our proficiency by class upping, I don't think it really matters here at all. 
As long as I make sure none of our skills dip below level one, which shouldn't be an issue. Wow, you know it's bad when Imperimeter is untouchable. He's just tanking hits. He doesn't care. He's like, oh. You know what? I'm going to cast some more spells. I'm just going to try to level it here. We just hit rank 8 with our weapon, which is good. I think up to level 16, if I remember the breakdown correctly, we could basically scale from area plus 1, or we could get to range plus 4 and area plus 4 by 16. So we're halfway there. Beyond that, we could keep getting mastery, and, and our staff power will go to 130%. So we have basically free reign of everything right now. Not bad. So we want to try to level in Parameter into another class. Because he isn't transmogrified at all. And if I need to create another character, we now know to do that beforehand. As I said before, Kirk's character technically could have done it, but I don't think it matters. He's going to end up with like a thousand mana anyway. And he's only going to use about 300 to make a character. So he needs to kill like, what, seven or so people currently in order to make another character? I don't think that matters. But giving him Parameter an Ice Mage could be interesting. Although we are starting kind of late with learning new abilities. It is kind of funny seeing the Wind Element being one of his most used. Hopefully we can keep his mastery around 8 or so. That's why I'm trying to spam more abilities, just so he could keep his staff rank higher. The only real plus side to transmogrifying in Parameter at the moment is... Uh, He's going to gain access to the star element, which is kind of element neutral. So that means that Parameter should be able to just solo defeat everything. But obviously if we have something they're weak against, like Gigafire potentially being boosted by 50%, it's just going to be way stronger than a star equivalency. So I'd like to keep our Gigas pretty strong. And our other elements are more if we're desperate. Yeah, look, look at the range that Parameter already has. And then... I could just basically hit that far. Right now, we're just going to build up our Gigas. Eventually, I would like him to learn an Omega, but that's what people under him are for. Can he transmogrify yet? No, he can't. Let's do a promotion exam then. So he's gaining like little bits of mana in case I need to make somebody. They don't have to have the craziest stats. It is kind of sad, though, that I do have to do this every time I want to transmogrify, which does make me sad. On the plus side, I'm getting a lot of opportunities to build proficiency. So technically, I could have been building proficiency earlier by just repeatedly summoning them and then spamming in the corner, but we'll do it now. Wow, that's all they could do to Imperimeter. That's so sad. Well, let's keep improving his Gigas. So he'll have two of the three elements on lock. We could give him his own personal blue character. Although, now that the bonus XP isn't as high, it's going to be hard to kind of feed XP. So the strategy we talked about before is not going to be as great. Alright, so let's double check. We're going to save because I think we made some good progress. Now on Parameter is at 622. If he transmigrates into a Star Mage, how much mana does he have left over? It's 222. I don't think it's worth waiting to distinguish. I don't think that makes any sense. But he could go from only a plus one currently to a skill. So we have 222 to make. So let's make a character for 222. Um, Let's give him another mage. Oh, look at that, chat. I can make somebody with uh, ability 6, so he'll still have enough to do it. Because I said 222. I'm pretty sure it's the exact number that I stated. So we can make another person here. Hmm. I guess an honor. We'll say RJ Chaos. And then I could pump this all into int, which is actually relevant. Okay, and now with Imperimeter with his remaining points, we're going to make him a Star Mage. And we lose nothing. We do lose some Inheritance, but I don't think this should matter. 
you can see our stats are already pretty strong. But we're going to give him a whopping 23 in per level instead of... Because I think a parameter only had like a 16 or so before. So he's getting almost 50% more in, on top of just having better stats overall. So pretty solid for us here, honestly. Yeah, see, so he already has 1100 int without being any level ups at all. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna check in parameter. So he did lose a lot of staff mastery, which kind of sucks. He didn't lose his skill mastery, which is interesting. He did learn star. What we're gonna do, we're gonna set up in parameter, the same way we did Kirk. We're gonna give him just like a little tiny boost in level, and I might transmogrify him one more time before the end of the run. Nicely done. The more SP- I'm more worried about his SP than his damage, to be honest. Like, 1149 is higher than most characters anyway. So he's gonna gain insane bonuses from hitting with Star. So now if we're fighting multiple enemies, we have a character that can reliably clear. So we're just gonna do this a little more. See, I could have made another fighter or something under Kirk for more stats, but it's I don't think it's needed, so I'm gonna skip it for now. If I regret later, we could do it. Then Parameter is 363 SP, which is actually pretty good. I only need about 200 or so based off our things. And sadly, because of his stat bonuses, he probably is still tankier than half the mages we have. The downside is mostly just getting his staff proficiency back up. So he did go from 8 down to 6, which is a bit unfortunate. But hey, he's gonna make up a little bit here. That's probably the big downside of Transmogrify, due to how, mu how much stats the weapons can potentially grant us. I think I need to do one more rank up. See, so we're just giving him a baseline of stats. He's at 1178, which is not too bad. We should just be able to start sniping them with Star at this point. Yeah, we can. So you can see his range is really, really good. To the point I could just walk away every turn and force them to come closer to me. Getting poison there is a bit unfortunate. So yeah, the class generally had like rank like one more stat per level. It's not a huge difference. But then on top of that, we had stored levels. So we're gonna end up with a lot of base stats here. Nicely done. Bye. Is there anybody else that needs that little buff? I could try to level Rogue 9 this way, but I don't think it matters. We'll just try to give him a kill. We have RJ Chaos. We'll, if we make another character, we'll name him after Calvisham. We'll probably have it under Kirk. Because Kirk is going to end up with so much mana that I don't do anything with it. Well, speaking of which, Kirk is not high enough rank to transmogrify again, so let's get another kill here. Kirk's six specialty is still probably good enough here. So any stat ups here are definitely appreciated. It might save us a hassle later. Honestly, I don't even think his defense is that bad. He could survive several hits from level 70s. So we're giving Perk a little bit of a head start there. Is there anybody else that needs it? The closest would probably be Chris's character. So I need... Okay, do we have a character that can transmogrify, or is everybody not enough mana? Alright, let's 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 have Chris do it real quick. Set up for the future. So I'd like to rank Chris up into one of the super mages. 
Ooh, he already has a Mega Fire. That's so big. And him being our backup mage would probably be good. Yeah, so he has more stats than Imperimeter in terms of proficiency with staff. But his in is still lower than Imperimeter's by quite a lot. So we're going to save up a bit so he can rank up. He needs, I think it looks like about 500 mana or so. And getting a couple kills here does matter because he only needs about 100 more than where he's at currently. We can also use Chris's character to see what we can rank up into. Yeah, like technically I could have unlocked Belt and Shoe or other stuff if I wanted to, but I don't think it's relevant. So yeah, we're going to reduce how much mana he needs very significantly. So he needs maybe at most 80 after this, so like two kills. So mostly at this point, we need to combine enemies to get more hell, since the map bonuses are actually really terrible. That's the only thing where I would say make a difference. I wouldn't want to combine enemies to get more hell overall. Ooh, him having a big AoE on a Mega Fire is huge. So yeah, we made up for some of the loss parameter incurred, and we're just going to make sure, even if we don't use parameter for kills, we spam as many Brave Hearts or whatever as we need to. Since even him getting another 5 or 10% bonus on his stats is kind of insane. And that should be GG for this enemy. Yeah, there's no reason to not just spam Gigafire. So if we get a royal ring, that would be huge for characters like Imperimeter or Chris to top off their stats. Oh, that's right, you get healed at the end of those. We're gonna look at one more time before I go further. I'm not playing to upgrade, I just want to see something. So yeah, we could potentially... So right now, for example, I could get up to 15 attack by switching Rogue 9 into Black Belt. Which, technically, at some point, if I want to have the super class, I need to have a brawler like this. But Ninja by itself could be interesting. I was just looking at what the stat difference would be. I like those roll stats, honestly, from the level up. But whatever. Yeah, most of these other characters, I just don't care. Although, honestly, the Scout has, like, decent stats. 100%, 110% chance to hit is actually good for a character that only cares about hit. And yeah, one other thing that Imperimeter is also going to have advantage of the over the other characters is he's going to get 10% more health and 10% more defense. As well as speed, which doesn't matter, but the 10% defense and health actually matters because he has stuff that actually protects him. He's still likely to die in one hit, but overall his stats per level were so much higher than what was listed here. I mean, he, he would normally get, what, 14 to in, and he's already at 23. So he has a big, big advantage over other characters right now. Don't think I really care about promotions on anybody else other than Rogue 9. So we might try to level up Rogue 9 into a ninja, because he's also getting a lot of stats from Kirk, as a reminder. So the stronger Kirk gets, the stronger Rogue 9 will get in turn. One other thing that's positive is that the game will remember the highest total, so if I transmogrify the other character and it lowers their stats for whatever reason, like how Kirk went to level 1, the game should remember the stat bonus on Rogue 9. So the stronger Rogue 9 gets, or stronger Kirk gets, the stronger Rogue 9 becomes. So him becoming a secondary melee would be doable. Alright chat, moment of truth. Just want to see one thing here. Ooh, 468 actually pretty good. Let's hope that early on we get an XP up. I'm assuming we're going to fight a boss at some point, and we're going to use this to correct our levels. Oh, we're already at Byers. Oh, this is a good sign. Magnificent Gate. Let's go there. Okay, please be experienced. Please be experienced. Ally damage. Uh, it's not experience. But it's a lot of easy enemies to kill. So I might be able to feed this to our characters. So that can lower them health-wise by quite a bit. What I'm actually going to do is pick him up with Rogue 9. Unless this is XP up. Oh, it is XP up. Oh. Chat. Oh. Wait, that means I could bonus chain here. Oh, the bonuses suck. That's right. 
Oh, that's actually important. Alright, let's take off the ally damage, because there's no point to this. Alright, so we need to make sure... I don't think they can hit me from their distance. They do have magic, which is kind of annoying. Oh, he doesn't need to... Oh, that's right, I gotta level him. If they die, I'm resetting, chat. It's just that easy. Alright, so let's start pumping them up real big here for a kill. Right, that should be good enough. Again, the more I can build their magic meter, the stronger they become. And Pyrameter is back at 7. So we caught up to Chris. Okay, so that's good. That means the parameter's magic now at 22. It's a little higher than everybody else's. Next turn I can buff up with Braveheart. I'm just hoping they don't reach me. They can hit the Brawler, that I don't care about. Excellent, I wounded them without killing them, which is actually huge. It means I could probably punch them again without any issues. This'll build proficiency with Rogue Nine. We can move out of the way. I can get, take some hits. Yeah, let's let's become a decoy here. So I want to combine them at least once, so that way they're above level 100. That means if I could get the kill here, this would be huge. I'd prefer this to go on in parameter if we can get it, or Kirk can get it. it doesn't really matter. So what we want to do is make sure. Our red mage is alive. And if Frost move over here, put a red mage over there. Start magic boosting. Again, we'll improve our proficiencies. Now, and parameter is at 229. If it's. Ooh, it's ice, which is not anything I have here. Hmm. I could try to star. Get much this does. Not quite enough. I'm going to give this one to Kirk. So he's already level 30. Um, <laughs> I don't think they could kill him, but maybe they could. What we're going to do is we're going to use target to throw a couple of them together and create a decoy. So that's good enough. And I could put away red shirt too as needed for now. This also means for Kirk's character, I could braveheart him every turn if I want to. Alright, so what I want to do is probably not line up with the cleric. I can avoid it. I'm gonna make sure they're all within range of this. Maybe I'll just do another magic boost here. If they kill these characters, it'll be sad, but not the end of the world. So again, I'm just focusing on getting their proficiencies up. Five is decent. Six is really good. Nine is ideal, but we'll get there eventually. I think this should work. Right, so what we could do is... Probably throw these two together. Oh, that's a level 130 character. Um, I don't know if that's going to be strong enough. We could see... We clump them together for now. Oh, 
only we had stronger ice. It's unfortunate that this one's weakness is ice. Even if I do ice here, it doesn't really matter. It's it's too weak, I think. And I could try it, but... Yeah, that did, like, literally nothing. That enemy is super tanky. Oh, because the resistance is super high. Okay. So what we could do is have Red Shirt hold on to him for now. We can take advantage of our super long range buffs. To empower Perk's character to take this kill. I do need to make sure Imperimeter gets a kill at some point, but I'm not in a rush here. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. It's a little risky. But I just want to make sure we could do it. And the other thing I want to do is... Actually, we'll put Chris away for now. Let's do... We'll have Hitme come over here. And protect Kirk's character. After they cast the Brave Hearts. So Kirk should definitely be able to get the kill next turn. So we only have a couple enemies left. We should be fine. Here goes. That's fine. Here goes. And they won't focus the mages due to how I position them. So I could combine them into a super enemy right now if I want to. But I think ideally here I'm going to do some damage. The resistance is so high, so I have trouble combining these. Hmm. I'm sure my damage is as high as possible. We're going to do... Oh, I can't triple strike due to the block. I'm gonna move over here. Let's not triple strike. Actually, yeah. Of call. I'm worried this isn't gonna kill. What I can actually do. Game, please. That also is really annoying. Let's reset Kirk's position. Rick might need two swings to kill here. Yeah, that's about what I thought. We just need one more turn of stalling. I think I'm gonna have... One of the mages die for the cause. Or I could lift up Rogue Nine, I guess. That's the question- oh, they're weak to fire? Terminator's fire is pretty good, right? Pretty good. Gonna have lift here. I mean, I could combine them, but that seems like a bad idea for me at the moment. I could combine the other enemies, which are not as tanky. And then what we could do is do as much damage as we can here. Didn't quite one shot. I don't think it's going to be strong enough. You go for it. Okay, Chris got it. That's fine. Chris getting it is fine. Let's stall here a little bit. <clears throat> the other enemies haven't moved at all, which is interesting. I could hit them with the uh, Geo Prism if I want to. So a thousand should be doable for Kirk. I can just hit this guy with spells just because. Not a bad idea, actually, just to build proficiencies. Going. That's a big level up for Kirk. So he's already at level 40. So he's almost caught up in the stats to where he was before, on top of just having generically better defense across the board in case he needs to survive a hit or two. So he went from about 600 health to 1400. So the odds of him surviving two hits after this point are pretty good. Now we just need to clear the rest of the level. 
So what we could do is just... Okay, what's our MP situation looking like? Frost's MP is pretty bad. We might replace Frost. Also, we need to rename Gansel into somebody else, I think. Have... Art Magic Boost. Alright, let's keep our stats up. everybody's main proficiency going up. We maintain Kirk's damage for the most part. We just need them to come a little closer. That one shot is so good. But to no one's surprise, Kirk is just absolutely destroying them. So what are their resistances? Like 426? So I could throw them into the Archer for a kill. A little risky. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. Do need a parameter to get a kill, though. We talked about that earlier. Hmm. I think this should be fine. I hate that the everyone I want to kill is not is weak to ice and he doesn't have it. That is so annoying, chat, on so many levels. I can't even begin to tell you. I guess I could move him forward, if nothing else. And then kill with Kirk if I mess. Let's hit with this a little bit of ice damage. And we need to hit with something they're neutral towards. Just wind. Oh, let's hope this pays off. There we go, and Parameter with a huge level up. Right, chat? That's that's kind of consequential to be at level 20. Suddenly, I have way more SP, and now my int's at 2680, which is higher than Kirk's attack power is. Think about it that way. It's kind of gross. Nicely done. Good cleanup of the stage. We should get some enhanced money, because I stacked some people. But we're going to be stacking for sure if there's a boss, which I feel like we're getting close to. Because we fought mid-boss in this area before. Yeah, feeling pretty good. Let's take a look at Kirk's mana total real quick. Yeah, he's already at 602, chat. This is why I was not worried about his mana total. But in theory, I could make another character under Kirk. At some point, question mark. We need a param or we need RJ Chaos to get some levels. Cancel. No. Probably rename him at some point. Or cancel with no mana. Chris is basically all set to go, I'm pretty sure. Now the question is. Oh, we didn't get him high enough level. So if in parameter level's high enough, we will get the mage after the star mage. So at this point, it's just a rush to level in parameter. So that way, Chris can basically leapfrog to the next one. And then I have two really strong mages on top of having a good melee character. I forgot to give Rogue Nine a kill. We'll try to fix that soon. I think his damage is okay, because he's got a fist item. Yeah. The 500 HP for Muscle Dream is actually relevant, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that we're kind of in an early area. So let's see what this area is all about. For a new demon, he sure is living in a nice place. Prick. Be careful, dude! We came through the main entrance and no one's appeared yet! You're right. It almost seems like he's... Not home? So, you made me come all this way for nothing? That's it! I've got to break something! Dude, he should be here! I've done the research, dude! Right now, Fire should be staring into his mirror, asking who's the most adonic of them all, dude! Ugh, what a freak! Yeah, he was voted most likely to earn a degrading name in the Pretty Times, dude! So, he's in his room? I've done the research, dude! All right, you know what to do! Standard Pretty looting formation! Let's move it! 
Roger that, dude. So yeah, so now Kirk's level pretty good. Enemy attack boost up. A lot of enemies I could stack here. I could combine these two in potentially one shot. Hmm. Recovery 20%. Hmm. Yeah, so sadly, I think what we should do is throw the enemy boost on you. Get rid of you. And I could just end up tanking here, honestly. 20% recovery is not bad. Tax plus one is a little scary against me. Hmm. So it doesn't matter which one does one have more defense? Why does this one have so much more defense than the other one? What the heck? This one is so much easier to kill. Wait a minute, 80 less defense and 25 less health? Okay. Right, chat? Like, uh, okay. Well, let's try to go for the kill here. Oh, getting that diagonal is gonna be so annoying. Yeah, like, slightly too early. There we go. Only 237 defense? That's not good for the enemy, that's for sure. Class is jobless. Nice. Move all the way back here. The odds of me getting hit by this are pretty low. And parameter over here. If I need to, I can body block with a random character. Let's give Kirk as much strength up as we can. I think he can one shot currently, but we could do better. And they'll ignore Rogue Nine. The closest ones if I put another decoy there. Alright, so now our attack power is insanely high. It should just be a one shot. Good for Kirk. Alright, chat, there we go. So now our stats are higher than they were when we beat the game already. And now we'll scale even better because we're going to be fighting so many people. So yeah, just overall, fairly tanky. Not like he's going to tank a million hits, but he's almost at 2k health again already. I think that's the only stat that is not as close to some of the other ones. We have way better defense and speed. I think what we'll end up doing is... Honestly, I might just throw... Let's throw Rogue Nine backwards to save him. I potentially want to get a kill here. Buddy system chant. Oh, they can brave hard all they want. They're not going to get a turn. I'm not even going to combine those. Alright, so Rogue Nine needs to be able to get a kill. His attack power is kind of mediocre, though. What we need to do is do some fire damage. Let's hit him with a fire attack, see how much it does. That's pretty good. And I hit him with a star without kill. Oh, we learned Mega Star. Regular star? That killed. I mean, I'm happy in parameter level, but. Um, we need an easier to kill target. Somebody with less defense. Ooh, middle one is bad defense. Now we just need to snipe them, I guess. So I can protect the mages by putting Kirk in the way. And then I can even bring them back a tile if I need to. What I could do with the remaining characters is Braveheart both of these characters? I think that's the right call. If I want to have Rogue Nine get a kill, I think that just makes sense. Six Feet Under could go back in here. I don't need him. And we could get another character over here. Braveheart these two.
Oh, attack plus one and, and impacts Braveheart. Oh. I thought this was just normal attacks. I misremembered. That's actually really huge for uh, everybody, I think. So that means if I slash here... Oh, Cry's actually in the way. That's kind of annoying. Um, he might be able to just punch him to death. All right, let's lure them in. That's fine. I don't care about a couple of mages dying, honestly. Now I know I'm going to get a double strike here, which is kind of important. So I just need to weaken them a little bit without killing them. I think this should do. Make sure to use the weaker version of ice here. So suddenly that's much more doable. That means and parameter should be able to get a lot of kills here. I put him over here. Let's go ahead and use. Oh wait, that was try a move. Had to move in parameter here. Let's have try and here in double Braveheart. I think is the right call. That should add a lot of attack power to Rogue 9. I think this should kill. Okay, so Rogue 9 got the level he needed in order to unlock transmogrify stuff. And now at this point, it's just kind of... I, I already buffed a Gigastar? Oh no! Uh, they're ultra dead. I could do whatever I want here. Come here, Chris. Finish him off. Weak to ice. Sucks to be you. Oh, that's right. In differences. That's fine then. What we'll do is we will protect Chris. A little bonk to the head. Oh, we shared the mana. Nice. That's actually what I wanted to have happen. Perfect. Both characters survive. Okay. Now I just have a wall of enemies and I just need to block off the path. Let's summon Gansel as a decoy. And we will Braveheart. At least Rogue 9. He didn't die. So that means I could do whatever I want again here. Nice. And because they're buddies, I get to do this. Nice. Nice teamwork, right, chat? So nice to see teamwork. Move him back. He's probably going to die of poison. But hey, Rogue Nine did what he needed to do. Need to grant him some more kills, potentially. Kirk's already good for the playthrough. <laughs> he'll he'll kill bosses. I'm not worried about his levels. Uh, Ice Mage needs some damage. Let's go ahead and use some ice with Chris. I like that Chris basically comboed with himself, so Parameter could do whatever he wants now. That was what is known as a disrespectful level up. <laughs> Just kill one, kill the other. So yeah, that's kind of nice. And the best part about this is it means I can build my proficiencies really quickly by just casting on myself. That also technically means I could use ice on things that I can't normally kill with a character. So if I want to use ice here, for example, I could build meter, even though he's level one. Better than nothing. I was gonna say, Kurt's character does not care about these enemies at all. What are they gonna possibly do to Kurt? Get out of here. Nice level up for Kirk. <clears throat> oh no, they hit Kirk. Ooh, look at that damage dealt. Ooh, I might be able to feed another killer rogue nine. That's actually huge. Use a triple strike here. Good job, Rogue Nine. You got another kill. So he is almost at 202 mana, which isn't too bad. Remember, he I think we made Rogue Nine with a minus one. So basically anything is an upgrade for him at this point. And it's kind of funny, we can see their stat difference. A thousand attack versus nearly two thousand something. 
Yeah, we're just gonna keep magic boosting ourselves because it builds meter. Our meter almost out of meter. We're gonna have Chris magic boost himself. I might be able to snipe with this. What are you weak against? Ice. What a tease. Well, this is why we have Giga Star. Oh, can't reach. This is why we have Normal Star. Damn. Parameter leveled right at the end, too. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I have a ragtag crew going on. Yeah, we might level Rogue 9 into Ninja. I guess I can make a character under Kirk. The question is what kind of character to make. It is funny that he's basically the hero rank already. Which does give us enhanced uh, hit percentage, which is nice. Sadly, our defense is already maxed, or whatever. Oh, there we go. Oh no, chat, the prism skull is here. Oh no. So we can make the other thing that we need to make. Um... Let's just make Calvisham the scout for now. I don't really have a downside to this. I don't need my mana for, like, literally anything. Oh, we can make the shark man. Most violent type of dragon is the sea dragon chat, apparently. Eh, why not? I got nothing better to do with my mana. It's not like I can't make millions of mana when we're done with the main playthrough. So we're gonna, in honor of Calvishon... Actually, I'm not gonna put the... Make him a character. So if this character happens to level, it'll level Kirk. The chain continues. Everything should go in hit percentage. There we go. Uh, now Chris should be good to go. Unless he needs another kill, let's find out. So we can see the difference of two int per level on top of just having better stats. Ooh, he's 70 mana shy. I think we could fix that. So he'd have to survive two promotion exams. I think we could do that. Oh, no, he's actually really close. Never mind. Oh, how far off is he from this? Eight mana. <laughs> okay. That, that's more doable. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Uh, we're gonna say in Parameter, we need to borrow that for a second. Because I think having another mage like this is kind of huge. So now we have two super mages. I'm gonna do one promotion exam just to get the mana. And double check that I don't need to get anything from the store here, and then we'll move on. Um. Well, sadly, Chris's proficiency is about to take a hit, but it should be fine. So almost as high as the other characters was. Omega Fire is still pretty good. All right, so Chris is gonna receive the upgrade. Let's go ahead and finish that off. Oh, I could... Hmm. Triple the enemy for first enemy killed. That's actually kind of tempting on Kirk's character. Hmm. That is actually kind of tempting to do. Right, chat? Hmm. I'll think about that. That might be worth ranking up for. If we know there's a super XP coming up, we might do that with Kirk. But I think otherwise, Chris is good to go, so let's go transmigrate him. So yeah, we're getting plus two to all stats, so his level should be pretty good. His int is going to be 25, and again, he's getting some bonus stats across the board. Should be good enough. So there we go. We have two improved mages. Wow, I love their stats are almost the same. That's kind of insane. Just shows how strong the other stats are. We really just need better int-ups on Chris. Hmm. 
Moon Orb having 40 int was actually kind of huge. Hmm. I think we're good for a while. The only other character I can think of is Rogue 9 if I want to transmigrate him before we continue. As I said before, we could technically make him okay. He doesn't have a lot of fist proficiency to lose, so I don't think there's a big deal here. More of a question of, do I try ranking him up to skilled? Which is probably I should. I don't think Distinguished and Genius is worth grinding for in our playthrough. But we might give Rogue 9 some random kills later. Although his weapon is going to fall really far behind very soon. It's already kind of far behind. Yeah, we really just need, like, we just need more money. Let's try to save up some money on this one. Oh, Holy Orb. Actually, this could be huge. If we could get in up on this, this is actually huge. We want a little higher than 45. Because this will work. Because Chris is currently using this, and this would just be a straight upgrade if it is double in. Let's try to get at least 60 in. I don't think that's unreasonable. Come on. See, that would have been 60 right there. That's so sad. That's all we needed. No. Does that mean Chris basically immune to spells? Uh, 62 in. I think that's good enough. That'll just be a straight upgrade for Chris. Not like a huge, huge one, but it matters. To get rid of the Rosary for more in, I think would probably make sense at this point. Anything to increase his base in, I think is huge. Yeah, like, we're just using Opera Glasses, which are okay. Hmm. I don't think we're using any of the other characters for damage, because the Parameter's kind of in a league of his own right now due to the Super Staff, the Pravda Necklace, which we should be able to get, uh, better ones in a bit. Because it goes Pravda, then Devil Ring, and then Testament, so now we just need to lose a lot of health. So in theory, if I wanted to get the other thing, I could reset and die a million times, but I don't think that's worth doing. Like, just like, literally take a 500 health one and remove it and add it over and over. I think that would be a bit too tedious. I'll spare chat that. We're good for now. Guess I could technically give a staff to RJ Chaos so he builds meter. Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, Rogue Nine, if he just gets, like, one more attack up item, I think he'll be fine. I could technically unlock Boots to make him a bit better, but... Fine, we don't need it right now. Alright, so if this is a boss, we'll try to combine them. If it's not a boss, then we have some time to level. I think the boss is in one more stage. Remember correctly. Ooh. 85 characters, so they're starting to get pretty high level. Unfortunately for them, their defenses are kind of trash. <laughs> right, Chad? Oh, I love the scout's six movement. That's actually kind of nice. I should have kept a gun for him. Oh, well. Hopefully we'll pick one up by the end of the game. Um... I kind of want the enemies to get closer. Recovery, damage. Forgot to see. That doesn't matter. Um. I mean, I don't really have any reason to do anything crazy here. If Kirk doesn't end up killing anything, that's fine. Because I could just feed this kill to Chris. Even if Chris dies here, I would say mission accomplished. Could hit him with wind, but I don't think that's good enough. Get Omega Fire going here. So that's a big level up for Chris. 
Went from level 1 to 19, right, chat? 668, it's pretty solid. The other thing we should be doing is just kind of chipping away at them. So I guess at this point, since I don't really care about them that much, let's go ahead and hit him with try into Imperameter to hopefully give Imperameter a kill. Giga Wind. Giga Wind should kill. Oh, that's right, I'm not magic boosted. Never mind, that will not kill. But what I could do is... Come a decoy. Let's get a decoy. Can't find it. I need you here. Wow. That's all they did? Hmm. How polite of them, right, chat? I could throw them together. What a bad idea, honestly. The Rogue Nine gets three or four kills here, he said. So I could just have the other characters stand back. Now at this point, I want Imperameter to be safe, and I want Chris to be mostly safe. Let's focus on simple Braveheart stuff. That's gonna be a big attack increase. Let's use Blade Rush here. I'm able to. Eyes in the way. Let's back up try a little bit. Nice level up for Kirk. Uh, I'd like Rogue Nine to hit with Triple Strike here. Nice level up for Rogue Nine. We need to get three or four more kills. I think I could squeeze that in without really impacting our kills at all. Wow, the enemy's not moving forward. Very interesting. Well, that means I have some time to stack up some stats, right, chat? So we know the diagonal costs the least amount of SP, so I'm just going to stack them on the diagonal here. And again, the more that they cast, the better off they are with future spells. But Chris does not have a lot of SP, so I'm just going to focus on Bravehearting here. Chris's proficiency is at 6 again. Air meter is almost 8. Hmm. I think if I walk up and win cutter them. Target hide problem. Should survive this. That level up makes me feel pretty hopeful about 4,000 attack. Damn, chow. Where was that when we were in the other story mode? Maybe I should have done that earlier. Oh well. Um. I think for now I just let them ha attack Kirk, right? I'm on the rush. Wow. That's so sad. Oh, chat, that was sad. Did you see that sad damage total? I feel bad for them. That was just not good. Just gonna make sure Imperameter is constantly casting spells. The range on Braveheart is insane. Which is good for stages like this, where I don't want them to get close. Oh, is there a... Wait, why isn't the enemy coming down these steps? I mean, eventually they will be, but I'm surprised they aren't right now. We're gonna go ahead and just do a normal punch here. Another level up for him, so three more kills? And Rogue Nine is so tanky with HP, I'm really not that worried. We learned another attack, Tiger Charge. But I don't think we've ever seen this move before. Let's go ahead and use it. Turn on the animation. Okay, damage is pretty decent. So I could feed this kill to one of our mages, because the archers seem to not have great resist. Um, I could feed it to Imperameter, although that other mage is slowly getting closer to us. Guess we'll see. 
A Giga Star? Oh, just barely can't reach. I might have to use Try to throw. Or what I could do, actually, is Magic Boost. Magic Boost. Then throw. This should pretty much guarantee the kill. Nice job on Imperameter, getting a little extra level up out of his kill range. Let's see what the Ronin does. So we have basically three characters that can do damage, which is good, which is way better than our other playthrough. Um, is a Ronin. They're probably going to be... Actually, they're not that tanky. I might be able to get away with just a melee here, honestly. I'll try something like this. I don't mind splitting the XP here, honestly. That also works. And again, that's just more mastery for uh, Rogue Nine. Now Chris can kind of do whatever he wants. Ooh, he's, actually, he's out of magic. Never mind. He can't do whatever he wants. Rescinded. Do I have another mage? You. Now our attack power is looking pretty decent. Lone enemy tried to fight Kirk. What a brave soul, chat. Nice split level up. So it just needs three more kills at this point. So there's enough enemies that I could feed every kill to him and get a super level up afterwards. Or I could just go in and try to kill with Imperameter. Both are appealing. I'm honestly surprised more enemies are not walking towards us. Oh, that almost one shot from there. Yeah, okay. So if I had magicked up on that, that would have killed. Wish there's bonus. Oh, there is bonus XP at this stage. Gonna try to magic boost one last time here. Keep the brave heart up on these two. Okay, so brave heart should be at max now. Parameter can do whatever he wants. If he gets two magic boosts, he kills basically every enemy here. Wow, they can't even kill in parameter. It's over. So I could combine these enemies at this point. I don't really see a downside to this, so I might as well ask. So I could use Imperameter to try to kill them. Be a little close. I gotta wound the other one for sure. Let's use Giga Star for sure on this one. But before we do that, let's make sure we magic boost him twice. Was a little too strong, but that's fine. In which case, we're not going to worry about that then. We're just going to triple strike. So two more kills, I think. We're not going to get it this stage, but on the plus side, anything else is looking really good. Honestly, I might just feed a parameter another kill here. He's kind of out of control, chat. Nice. So now it looks like Imperameter is actually strong enough to tank hits. This is the Reaper's power. So I guess that works. We managed to hit that nice little in between. Hopefully this is a boss one. So we've leveled up our other characters decently well. Ideally, if this is a boss, we're gonna combine them into mid boss and get a super power level on somebody. Yeah, so Rogue Nine is just like a little understated for it. I could make him do more promotion exam stuff, but I feel like that goes against the spirit of the challenge. 
but we'll leave him where he is for now. All right, this is the last room. Take everything that's valuable. <laughs> Master Etna, did you hear that? <laughs> what? You're just hearing things. <laughs> He's choking, dude! How rude! You should never ignore a gentleman. What is it now? Kinda busy here? That is hardly a proper reaction after pilfering moi's treasure. But I give you credit for your bravery. <laughs> My name is Byers. I am the lord of this castle. Finally? So you're Byers. Uh, huh. What is it now, you freak? I cannot help it. It seems when people call moi that name, I get this overwhelming sensation. It brings such tears to my eyes. Uh, looks like the rumors were right. You are a freak. My dear, I am an aristocrat blessed with beauty and power. They call moi the Dark Adonis. Now, mademoiselle, you are no ordinary thief. Am moi right? Yeah, well, you're no ordinary spaz. I admit it. I came here to eliminate you. Ah, I see. But, mademoiselle, you cannot defeat moi. Yeah, that's what they all say. But too bad for you. I'm not your opponent today. <laughs> then who wishes to face moi? Beg for mercy! You face the son of King Krichevskoy, Prince Laharl! Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Prince Laharl, dude. Dot, 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 Chad. <laughs> Your attempts at humor don't go over well with nobles such as Marcel. You think this is a joke? What's the problem? I'm Prince Laharl, dude! You, sir, are a pretty. You idiot! Look closer! Don't you see the antenna? <laughs> well, Laharl did have those. See? That proves he's the prince. You would have moi believe he is the prince simply because he has antennae? What more could you possibly want? Laharl is Krichevskoy's son, is he not? Shouldn't he have something more? His father's noble and sparkling good looks, for example? Yeah, right. If he was anything like his father, I wouldn't have killed him. Eh? Oh, yeah. Uh... Anyways, this is the prince. It doesn't matter what you say. She rolled a one on the bluff check, chat. Wait, w w what happened to, uh... Ugh, just kill him. Go, pretty, uh, prince. Master Etna, this ain't gonna work, dude. Okay, so here's a big opportunity to level, potentially. Question is, how hard are they? Defense bonus up. Oh, free Mr. Gensi's exit. Might be useful later. Hack ups. Ooh. Interesting. He's at 6,000 health by default? Wow, that is ridiculously leagues and bounds above his nearby compatriots. That's kind of a problem. Um. Alright, so number one, we gotta start killing these enemies. I think we can merge him with a couple of them. Like, we could get him to, like, 300 or so. As I said before, the goal is to probably just merge a couple and murder them. Let's start doing that for money at minimum. So I could pick three and combine them. Or I throw. of experience for Kirk. He's gonna need it, I think, to kill this thing. Now we just need the remaining characters to cast some spells. Put a parameter sort of near danger. 
probably gonna lose a couple of mages here. I don't think there's much I can do about that. Put the weakest mage in the back. Probably not gonna be enough. Probably should have weakened them with a spell before I did that. I might have to reset. We'll see. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Um. Hmm. I mean, I can't just let this one free roam. I guess I can lift him with Gunna Bite it. But I need to stand somewhere that I can actually hit them. That's the problem. We're running out of space to put people. Could do something like this, maybe? Get rid of these two. And then have somebody block their body. I think would make sense. And then I could potentially put Kirk on a damage booster. I guess that's not a bad idea. But before I do that, do you have anybody else that could do some damage? This Rogue Nine. A little risky, but I'll do it. Uh, anything to just kind of chip at their health, honestly, we'll take. So now this will free me up so that I can hit them with Star and other abilities. That's fine. We lost two. That's about where I thought we would be. So now... need one character with buffs. That'll s oh, I don't want to buff hit me. Something like this. Put away six feet under to get another set of buffs, maybe. Alright, so that'll make Rogue Nine's damage a little better. And that'll make Kirk's damage hit max, which I think is good. And for an parameter, if parameter needs a hit target here, we're gonna make sure we magic boost. I mean, parameter's magic damage is actually pretty good. I can hit him with fire too. Magic boost the parameter again. That's a pretty big damage difference. So what we're gonna do... Uh, I should have fire. We're gonna do a normal attack. Into star, or giga fire, I mean. That's our most damaging move, weak to fire. And then we try to kill them with hurricane slash. Hopefully this is good enough. Ooh, okay, that was just barely good enough. So we got through. Sorry, hit me. I might need you to sacrifice. Alright, so now if the boss comes towards us, it doesn't matter. Oh, they attacked Kirk. That was foolish. So let's keep our buffs up. Magic boost going. Alright, so we should be set up to chip away at the boss a little bit. And now we just need to throw somebody into Vyres for good XP. Oh, are they not advancing? Kind of annoying. Um. Hmm. I make them approach me. I'm gonna move up one tile. I mean, the more chances I get to buff my own magic, I'm not gonna say no to this, right, chat? Like, okay. That's what they want to do. I don't really care. That 
what's our masteries looking at? Six, six. Parameter is at eight, hopefully. Good. Thanks for Chris. That's pretty good. She should be at seven. Nice. This master is at three. Sword move is pretty good. Okay, survive that. Survive that as well. Well, that's perfect. So we wounded one of the things that could combine into Adonis, which is exactly what we want to have happen. So what we need to do is probably just punch a couple characters here. Before they merge, just reducing their health greatly would make a big difference. So let's do... Kind of bite it in, I think. Hmm. So we know this isn't going to kill him instantly, so let's go ahead and block with our body here. That's going to be a big, big, big difference in how much damage we have to do here. Rogue Nine might die here, but I think I can prevent the boss from going further. We might need to merge them, though. Alright, so before we merge, I think what I want to do is hit with the Parameter's Fire Attack at max distance. Just to check out the boss. Ooh, that did so much damage. Okay, suddenly this is looking more doable, right, chat? Because you know he's going to end up with, like, 12,000 bazillion health, so putting him that low looks a lot more doable. Alright, so we need to back up a little bit. Parameter probably needs to come over here. Defense up will help me survive longer. Is it 2,000 health, which isn't too bad now? I could brave heart. I think I will. We're gonna split our mages in two different directions. With ideally having a body blocker here. I need to combine them one more time, and then we should be able to get a lot of experience. I think I might put away Frost, just so I make sure I have a character that can throw next turn. Yeah, because he can only hit in such a line. I don't think he can reach our mages. I could be mistaken. These other characters can't do anything. I don't really care about them at all. Um, I can try to poke with Chris at max distance. A little risky. Right, let's see how much damage Chris can do. You know what? That's actually a surprisingly good amount. Should be fine here. Okay, he punched that guy, which is pretty much perfect for me, honestly. Now we just need these other characters to merge. I might have to hold on to them for a little bit. This is going to be a big level up for whoever gets this kill. I'm probably going to give it to Kirk. Oh, that is so risky. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to risk it. Just throw him here. I think this makes more sense to do. So before they merge, let's go ahead and get with an, uh, a fire attack here. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, man, we put them as low as we could go, Chad. I am so glad we drained their health total. Chad, he would have been at 21,000 normally. Like, this is this is like actual endgame boss level death. Like, there is no way we we're beating him at 20,000. All right, so that's perfect. So we could also, in theory, throw the attack plus one to kill him. Might not be a bad idea, honestly, because I can hit from here with Wind Cutter, right? Yeah, so Kirk can definitely kill from here. It requires another character to lift, which I, th I do have. 
I could do something like this. So I'm pretty sure this is now GG. So what I could do in the meantime is just kind of... Combo extend, I guess is the best way to put it. We could build some proficiencies on him. There's no way this is going to kill. But what I could do is something like Heaven Parameter, Braveheart, both of them, just to guarantee a kill. That way our stats are super good, because he's going to be very tanky. We're going to get a free punch in. And then we're going to win Cutter. GG. <gasps> why didn't it... Wait, why didn't it attack multiple times? Wait. Wait, what? Was it a bug when it attacked twice before? Well, rest in peace, everybody here. I don't know who he's gonna kill. Spin the roulette. I'm sorry, Rogue Nine. You didn't deserve that. I feel like I got cheated there. Why did we double up on one but not the other? Right, Chad? Why did that happen? Well, anyway, let's, uh, I guess, cast spells to buff stats. Well, the two mages survive. Can't say the same for Vyers, though. He's about to get absolutely exploded. This should be a lot of hell, because I stacked his level up high. So right now, I can basically afford another super weapon. I might buy another staff. See? What did I tell ya? He is the prince. Or I could get a fist item. I see. Beautiful mademoiselle. Does your conscience not ache? Nope, not at all. Yeah, dude! Nothing can hurt Master Etna's dark conscience! <laughs> Why should I feel bad about defeating you anyway? That is not what I meant. Do you have no regard for the wishes of your master? Have you no loyalties to anyone? You're a demon, too. Betrayal is a part of what we do. Besides, I pledged my loyalty to King Krichevskoy, not the prince. Do you believe King Krichevskoy would be proud of you were he standing before you now? What? King Krichevskoy is dead. Hmm? Dot, 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 Chan. Now I gonna decide how I'm gonna live my life. I'm sure King Krichevskoy would understand. Let's go, pretties! Looks like we've had a change of plans. What will he do now? Yes, he just woke up, but his powers are still there. In fact... He just crushed the new up-and-coming demon by brute force. I see. But still, how did he survive after drinking that potion? And he has gained so much power. This is not good. Don't worry about it. Leave everything to me and the crown will be yours. Are you certain? Of course. Just remember. I know. When I reign as the Overlord, I will give you what you want. Not that, not Chad. Episode <laughs> <laughs> 1, Super Dimensional and the End. Okay, so I think we're a quarter of the way through, technically. It's time for Etna's Q&A Corner! So, if we don't finish it up in one session, what we'll end up doing, we'll just have a bonus session maybe tomorrow, just to wrap it up. This isn't the next episode preview! I'm taking this time out of my busy schedule to answer all your letters! This has gotta be a scam, dude! Let's check out the first letter. It's from a seven-year-old boy from Earth. Now let's see... Help me! I'm always being picked on at school! Oh, Edna. Sounds pretty serious, dude! Are you sure you can handle it? Please, they're little kids. I can massacre her like a billion little bullies. Wow, dude! Master Edna, you're willing to help him out? Sure! And I'll do it for the amazingly low price of 500 million health. What? 
No kid can afford that, dude. All they have to do is ask their mom or dad. But no one has that kind of dough, dude. Well, I'm not running a charity here. So you're not gonna do anything? You're horrible, dude. Fine, he doesn't have to pay now. After he dies and becomes a printy, I'll just make him work it off. Don't do it, dude! 20-hour work days are hell! Run away while you still can, dude! If you really want my help, send me another letter. You don't even get paid, dude! You hardly get fed, too! Don't even think about it! Okay, you keep on talking and I'll toss you out again. Poor printies. Stand up to bullies, dude! Well, we got an achievement. And I might as well save over this one. Master Etna's back, dude! Also, plus side chat, if I accidentally kill an ally, it doesn't matter for this ending, as far as I know. And she doesn't look happy! I think she met with that demon! Not even Master Etna can disobey him, dude! Anywho, I envy him for being able to command Master Etna, dude! Is he blackmailing her or what, dude? What can someone possibly have to blackmail her with, dude? Maybe. Master Etna's just a spy from an alternate netherworld, dude. You got it all wrong. She's definitely a spy from the future, dude. There you go, chat. Spy from the future. No, no, no. She's a space detective. Here to protect the peace, dude. Space detective? Did somebody here just mention a space detective? Who's that, dude? I don't know, dude. Please forgive me. My name is Flan, and I came from Celestia. It's a pleasure to meet you. Huh? Episode 2, Space Detective Etna. Threatening to strike again? Tell them they better get back to work if they want to live to see tomorrow. It's not that, dude. An angel named Flan has infiltrated our castle. What? An angel? Oh, why do these things always happen to me? So, where's this angel? Well, um, excuse me. Can you direct me to the Overlord's room? Master Etna! It's her, dude! She's Flan! You don't look too bright. So, what do you want? Edna? That means you must be the daring space detective! Huh? My name is Flan. I'm thrilled to be meeting a genuine hero of justice! What? You have got to be kidding me! I know, I know! Nobody can know your secret identity. What's wrong with you? What about your transformation? And you have a victory pose, right? What's your super move? Hey, hey! Get away from me! Master Edna! You're an undercover space detective, dude? Of course not! Please, Miss Edna, may I please be your assistant? Like I said, I'm not a space detective, and you're not gonna assist me in anything. Now that that's out of the way, we may as well go back to Celestia. No! I've always dreamed about becoming a space detective. I'm not going anywhere until I become your assistant. Ugh, now you're just giving me a headache. I don't have time to play around with you. Pretty spot, let's go! Wait, are you going out on patrol? Please take me with you. Hey. What? I thought you said you weren't gonna move. So I guess the old saying is true. All angels are liars. But I didn't lie. Then don't move from this spot. If you stay here, I might actually let you be my assistant. Really? We're flan. Okay. I won't move, even if this castle crumbles around me. That sounds good. Great! Good luck! Are you sure you want to leave her there, dude? Uh, she'll eventually just give up and go home. I hope you're right, dude! Well, I guess we'll see if that happens. Her being young means looking forward. What do you think, Space Detective? Don't know, don't care. 
I never knew you were a space detective. Your demon look is just a disguise. You should be a little more doubtful. Oh no, our hearts are as pure as a child. We could never doubt you. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody that you're a space detective. Fine, whatever. Please teach the evil demons a lesson for the peace of the netherworld. Question, how do you become a space detective? Get a stupid angel to think you're one. <laughs> she says that while right next to the angel. Space, de space detective, can I get your autograph for my kids? You people are determined to make me a space detective, aren't you? Who knows Etna was a space detective? Don't believe everything you hear. Alright, so what happens if we go in here? Hmm? There's a piece of paper. Okay, so there's no other chapter stuff. Okay. That's fair. So, we have enough to buy a super weapon. The question is, do I give it to Rogue Nine so that he's easier to level? Or do I save up for another staff? I probably want to get one more staff upgrade before the end. If we get a belt in the meantime for Rogue Nine, that would be a pretty big damage increase. Depending on what it is. Or just literally no belts appear, that also would make it annoying. Come on, game. Seriously. Wait, did belts get locked? Hold on a second, chat. They did get re- We have to unlock belts every time? Why? Chad, I have so many questions. I mean... I guess I'll save. On the off chance I have to kill to pass the bill, I'm okay with it, and I'll do it. Just- I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's something I actually want. Yeah, I could bribe them with items, but I'm not going to. Yay. 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 I dare you to Yay. fail this vote. Yay. Damn, we passed. <laughs> I was like, chat, I was like, I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> I was like, go ahead. <laughs> Make my day. Yeah, we need a better build. I guess I could unlock the boots just to do it. And also bait us failing the other thing. Yay. Oh, this would be huge. Actually, I want to take this fight. Because I could probably get enough mana to level Rogue Nine. Right? None of them are too difficult. Yeah, not really. Bunch of level 30s. So I could combine them into, like, a super monster. Right, Chad? I'm kind of like, okay. <laughs> Wow, that AoE on Braveheart is insane. Okay, we just gotta keep using more Braveheart, and then we should be good. And due to us using it so often, it's just leveled and has like a million range, which is really funny to me. So at this point, I can start throwing some of them together, and it shouldn't matter. Alright, so I can make like a level 80 out of this. That's not too bad. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's my mind. I can make this guy level 100, which would be enough. But just put us the rest of the way. But the question is, can I protect Rogue Nine? Can. Should put me out of range. 
I can just throw the remaining characters after this. We could do a Braveheart now. Move in Parameter further out to the side. Let's see. Wow, that, that range is insane on Braveheart right now, chat. Like, to give you an idea how dumb it's getting, it's like, oh. Kinda dumb. We're just building meter, and I guess really matter what I do here. Alright, so if I need to, I can walk back to the base panel. Oh, I realize there's somebody over there that could do something. Nice kill from Kirk, that should speed it up significantly. I think I could technically kill the senators that voted for us as well if I want to. I could combine those two into a super one. I think what I want to do is provoke a counter war with this guy. Basically what I want to do. Okay. Then I can hit him with some frost magic, I think. Let's reach that guy. Well, those characters are not really threatening to me at all. More this guy I need to weaken up a little more. I could do just like a simple attack here. It's like we can almost kill him. I'm gonna go ahead and lift him. Actually, before I lift him, I poke him just for a little tiny bit of damage. I don't want to instantly kill him, but I do want to wound him a little more. Range. Can we have a parameter poke and not kill? Okay, let's make sure we're with the thing that he's resisted against. Alright, so that makes it more likely I can kill next turn. I think that's a good call for my part. Then I can just strength up the remaining characters. Then have these remaining characters leave, because it doesn't matter what I do here. I can technically feed Chris another kill. Not a bad idea, honestly. So I think then after this we'll try to purchase a super staff. I'm gonna try to belt and see if I can rank up our expensive items. And from there we'll go- Oh, did they really put him to sleep? Seriously? That, that's like an eye roll moment, right? Like, really? Did that really just happen? So obnoxious. Well, I think I have one cure left, I think. No, I don't. <sighs> right, chat? Just wanted one kill, punished by the stupid senator. So sad. I feel like I'm getting cheated. Anyway, let's make sure. And I guess I could technically make the other characters merge if I want to. Yeah, I just don't have any way of waking him up in a reasonable amount of time. I'm gonna feed it to Chris. I didn't want to do this, but I think I have to. Alright, Chris, time to get a kill. Nice. Level 30 is a pretty big jump for him. Again, his raw stats being at a thousand int means that he's good enough for scaling. The remaining enemies I could just kind of tank. I don't think these guys matter at all. As long as I just move backwards, I think I'm okay. They can't kill in parameter at this point, I don't think. The only thing we're getting here are just magic boosts. Might kill try, but I don't think that matters. Hopefully we wake up in a certain number of turns, or they punch and activate a counter. That's fine. Wow. I guarantee it's what is what are the chances that they can sleep? They didn't like when you look at this character, nothing tells you they could put you to sleep, which kinda sucks. The later games are a bit better about that. 
Uh, so what I can do is... One's higher level, 43, 30. Yeah. Just hold on to him for now and put the others away. I think Chris is dead. There's not much I could do about this. I could stall for a turn. Begin with him, Parameter. Good damage. Kirk can live a hit here. I could just lift them if I'm not sure. Go ahead and lift them. And I really need another character to wake up. Alright, there we go. He just woke up. Do I have another summon? Oh, I'm out of summons. Um... Defense? Not that high, actually. Hmm. Might just star attack into the finish. Yeah, this should work. Okay. So, 82 is not quite where I want to be, but it's pretty close. All that just to get you inventory, chat. Disgusting. So if I wanted more speed up, I could do that. War belt's actually not bad. And now the question is... Fist or staff? I think I go for staff. I think I go for fist after this. Since I could still kill with what I have. Where staff, if it levels, is kind of huge. You seriously not roll any staffs. Well, try again. This I don't like. I hope in the later games they're a bit more consistent. Ooh. That could have been really huge. Honestly, a Saint stat with decent stats is kind of as good as the Gambitian. I might actually just go for Saint staff, honestly. Saint staff with decent int over the other option might make more sense. And that, that way I can still buy a belt or whatever on top of that. We'll even take like double- I want at least 550 in- I want to make it worth it, but we'll see. Oh, that's not worth it. Come on, game. We need to roll well, chat. Honestly, even Rainbow Rod to some extent would have been good if it rolled double in. I wish there was a way to just resort without opening and closing repeatedly. I don't think there's a way. On game. That is actually surprisingly strong. That tells me I can get like an 80,000 option that'll be just as good and save my money for something else. Yeah, like if, if holy- actually, let's get a holy staff. If I can get holy staff with a good roll, that will also work. That is... Hmm... Maybe worth it? It needs stronger. That was like- that was like on the fence whether it was worth it for me. Gambitian needs to be like 600 plus for me to consider, but... One game. Gold better. Yeah, the Prophet Rod having as much as the Rainbow Rod is kind of funny. I want to compare our uh, main staff in a moment. I think I just picked this up now. Thinking about it. 501. How much is the Gambitian we're using currently on Imperimeter? 592. So if we can get like a 550, maybe that's good. So Saint Staff definitely can hit that. If Saint Staff double rolls Teacher, then we're good. Otherwise, I'll take one of these other ones. Gambitian... Too expensive. Alright, here's the deal. If I see a 500 int that's not the Gambitian, I will go buy it. If that had flipped, that would have been worth it. <laughs> if that had been any different, I would have bought that immediately. Come 
fun. So there's two staffs that can put us over 500 in. And I think that's not unreasonable to assume. Like, max, I think we could get a 600 right now. But unfortunately, we're now at PSO RNG. It, it, it's so much better for me to get the Holy Staff in terms of cash. I lose a little bit of stats, but then I get Statistician. I think I just buy this. I think there's just an auto buy. Like this, if those physicians had been teachers, that would have been like the purchase. But I think this is good enough. So it has over 500 in. It costs me less so I could get some accessories. Plus I get bonus XP. That should work. Now I can technically get more expensive items. So if I want to buy a better fist, I could. Let's go ahead and improve Chris's damage. Just, just a nice 400 extra in. Okay. I think most of our other characters, it doesn't matter as much what our in is. Take any upgrades that I could get here. There we go. Alright, so I could get another upgrade. Question, though, for fists. What kind of damage are we looking at? 225? I think mine's better. I think that's worth it. Yeah, we're... Because we have Legendary Mock Punch, that's actually gonna be kinda hard to top for a while. Wait, this... Also, I just realized I never actually got our healing items back. A little dangerous. I should put at least one healing item in here for now. Let's sell our remaining items as well. Honestly, we don't really need these. Unless I'm making another sword character. Like, that doesn't matter at all. I'm gonna check one thing with the boots. That hero belt would actually be a huge improvement on Rogue Nine. It rolls well. Let's try to get a hero belt. Then we'll go for expensive items and see what we can buy next time. That is a lot of attack. I think I'm actually going to purchase that. Got enough room for one more super purchase. Oh. Where I just get like the best possible ones here. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to a broker. We do need more money. So now I can improve Rogue Nine's damage. That makes him susceptible to being insta killed. But on the other hand, his attack power is now insanely high. So he has the statistician on. So let's give him a broker. So that's a big damage difference. I'd like to remove the Muscle Dream from him, but I'm worried he'll die. Like, technically it means he could start one- maybe one punching is good enough. In which case, let's have... we need another person to kind of lift and throw. <laughs> I guess I can make Calvisham move really far. Or why not? Let's- let's make Calvisham tanky. I'll even give him a sword, just because. Even though he's bad at it. Speaking of which, I get a throwaway gun for him. I don't have enough money to do so. Right, no throwaway weapon then. There we go. We now have Count Vision with the super movement. So we need to get money ASAP. So we need to make sure that we 100% combine people. 500. Is 500 good enough? Actually, wait a minute. Did Rogue Nine get exactly what he needed to level? One second. He did. Ooh. I was gonna say, if Rogue Nine was here, I'd, I'd ask what he would prefer. This is 15 attack. 
Oh, so he doesn't get as much brawl stats. Maybe I just make him a better brawler for now. The downside is that I think Ninja gets Essen Fist, so it learns weapon proficiency better. So I could make it all the way up to 25 attack, which is kind of insane. Or if I want him to dodge everything, he could go to 22. Maybe it's more important to level him this way? What a tough call. It makes sense to keep a ninja for rank up. Yeah, let's try this. Because I think having an S rank there is kind of nice. Other stats are okay. His defense is literally one, which is funny. There we go. Let's upgrade Rogue 9 this way. Eventually, if I want to unlock the other classes, I do need another brawler, so technically I can make another character under one of these people. So if I really want to, I can use some of Kirk's abilities to get another brawler. He does have a lot of spare mana. I don't know if improving counterattacks is actually good, because I feel like if I counterattack, I'm gonna die. When we get higher and higher in level, it becomes more of a drawback than a pro thing to get. I could just make another Black Belt. Not bad. Question. Can make him gain almost 30 attack a level. I think we could go a little further. I could save up for Kirk's distinguished value at this point. I'm thinking about it. What is Kirk's weapon proficiency now, by the way? It's seven, so he almost has all of his important skills unlocked. I think I'll leave it alone for now. Okay. I think we're good. We now have Rogue Nine as our secret stealth damage dealer. I think in this case, now that he's a unique character, let's move him out of the murder pile. Put him down here. Put RJ Chaos somewhere in here. I want access to all my damage dealers down at the bottom of the menu. That way, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven throwers and Etna. I think that's good enough. I shouldn't need more than eight in any given map. I presumably won't be doing much. If if he dodges Braveheart, I'm gonna be kind of annoyed. Because that will make him noticeably worse. I know healing is like that. I don't remember if Braveheart is like that. We'll find out, I guess. Let's go to Gaudi Entrance. With her. She's totally whacked out. Yeah, dude. I mean, space detective, dude. Angels creep me out sometimes. I'd rather be attacked by the entire 12th Demon Born Battalion than deal with her again. So, Master Etna, what are we gonna do now, dude? There's only one thing to do. The prince is gonna go out and kick some more butt. Are we gonna continue this charade, dude? Of course! We need to make it seem like the prince is growing in strength. And by doing so, I can make that jerk live in fear. Please think about the ones who have to die for your fun, dude. I may be able to get them back if I can just outwit him. Anyway, we're at this golden castle, so let's change our strategy a little. This time, let's take the castle as a whole. That's not changing the strategy at all, dude! Ah. Uh. Let's see who we can combine into one. Uh, no entries. What about other symbols? That means we can cut them off into two distinct groups for leveling. The Rogue Nine should be able to do some decent damage here. Rogue 
these characters together. You combine them into one super monster rather than let each individual monster attack, which might actually make sense to do. In which case... What I want to do to make my life a little easier. Let's have Imperameter come out and weaken them. Yeah, that way I'm doing a lot less here. Yeah, 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 this makes sense. Let's do one more AoE here. Fire, I think? Let's have Chris do some damage. Alright, so that should make them way easier to kill. Now all I need to do is combine them all into one and feed the kill to somebody. That means I only lose one character here, which I think is good. We're about to get a lot of money back in return. this is going to be a problem. Um, can I do this without summoning another character? I think I need another character. Or I need Etna to throw. I think that'll solve it. But I can throw them all like over here if I want to. I think what I need to do is have Etna throw this one. Because she has a throw space of 5, right? Or is it the other character? She does. Okay. That'll work then. I didn't think that through. I was like, wait, so something was not adding up properly. So I'm more concerned about stacking for money rather than experience right now. So what I'm going to do is definitely attack with Kirk. Need one character that can lift that enemy up. One, two, and I might have Calvisham just lifted up for the team. I shouldn't die to a hit here. So we weakened him up further. And if Calvisham lift, and then I can finish off with some buffs here. As I said before, I'm a little worried that he's going to dodge um, buffs, which is going to suck. But at least my hit is okay on some of the characters due to having glasses. I didn't lift. Wait, this might not matter. Oh, that mattered because they killed Rodon. Oh, that didn't matter. Okay, so even with that, that's not too bad. So we feed this to Kurt. Or technically Chris. What is your resistance? Still kind of high. Hmm. Well, I guess I could just normal attack for now. And to pick him up. I can't- I- for some reason thought I did. I got distracted. Let's put most of these characters away. Is your weakness fire? It is fire. Okay, that's a good sign. I can summon four people to buff our mages. And I have one person to throw if I need to. Should be doable. A little sad Rogue Nine died. I would like to have leveled him, but it's okay. He's got time to level. Let's make sure our mages are out. Nothing else. This is an opportunity to get more magic boost. I'm going to attack with Imperameter first. If he kills, he kills. It doesn't matter. As long as somebody here gets the bonus. This should be the most damage. Nice kill for Chris. That is a big level up for him. He's now 41. He actually just passed Imperameter in levels. Imperameter, I think, has some overall better stats, but... Yeah, those levels are going to be important for Int. So we now have two characters that could just kind of solo every enemy over here. So we'll do that. 
So I could combine these three into one enemy. So what is the thing that's keeping them from entering? Is this one? Okay. Giga Star. Ooh, he learned Omega Wind. Rank 1 already. That's nice. Now that means Chris should have Omega Ice as well. So now Chris can hit every element, which is good. So Chris can hit all the weaknesses, and Parameter can just do flat damage. That XP bonus is irrelevant. Let's go ahead and magic boost these two. So right now they could just kind of stomp everything from existence. That means that in the meantime, I can have Kirk move forward and do some stuff here. I'm gonna make sure he's Bravehearted a little bit. I guess I could also just bring in a character for levels, technically. I could leave RJ Chaos here to get some XP. As long as we move them out of the way, which should be very easy just by doing this. There's pretty much nothing the enemy can do to me at this point. Bring in Calvisham, I guess, back into the base. That hit a hilariously far distance away. Okay, so I could combine these into one for a kill. Hmm. Yeah, this is where I would have liked to have given Rogue Nine the kill. What a shame. Well, I guess I just keep luring them closer. Actually, that's right, I can't throw them. Well, as I said before, I don't think it really matters who gets the kill here, as long as it's one of our mages. Oh, Chris got the kill. So make a fire is rank 3, nice. Yeah, we have two long-range damage dealers. Now all we need to do is just kind of lure them together in a group over here. And then we can move our mages a little closer. Keep RJ Chaos really safe. Make sure we magic buff. We'll sacrifice Kirk for a little bit just because he could kind of cover the stuff the mages can't kill. I think otherwise we're doing pretty well. Sleep well, Granite Knight. Hopefully, uh, you have a good rest. The nice part is he's gonna injure- oh, I was gonna say, he's gonna injure both of these. That's what I was looking for. So I could combine them into another super monster, so I think I'm gonna actually... ...chip them out a little bit here. Let's test the waters. We'll do a basic fire attack. Okay. We'll move Chris way out of the range, as well as in Parameter. That should keep us safe, and I can magic boost us again. And if they happen to kill the other character, it doesn't super matter. What I could do is bring Calvisham in, throw him with our chain here if I need to. I'll do this to stop him from as easily going over there. Yeah, most of our mages are pretty well equipped. Oh, I didn't mean to kill. Oh, Kirk's counterattack killed. That's so sad. I didn't mean to do that. Well, Calvisham survived because he had Muscle Dream, so for a level 1 character, he did really well. <laughs> right, chat? He just face tanked that like a boss. He's like, listen. Giga Star and then Omega Ice. This should be GG. What an okay amount of money from that. Yeah, I was unfortunately denied a super stack again. But hey, that's a big amount of cash back. 
need to take another 27,000 damage or so. We could get a free ring. Might happen. This means we gotta let Kirk take more damage. So Calvisha managed to level because he absorbed some XP there, so that's good. Is there anything else he can equip? Did we get anything? Not really. There's something I could do for more stats. Oh, I don't think I have glasses on. Okay. I'm gonna expand my options a little bit here. I dare them. I dare them to not pass this chat. I dare them. Oh, that's what we call big mistake, right, chat? Fine. <laughs> Listen, I'm not resetting. Yeah, so now Kirk is here. He can do whatever. Now we just need Rogue 9 to get, like, a kill, and he's in business. This will be the last bill. I think I passed for first... I don't think I need to pass any more bills at this point. I should have enough options that I don't need to do it anymore. Yeah, RJ Chaos got a couple of levels. Still needs more, though, sadly. Okay, so I think from this standpoint, we'll do a double check on the masteries, but I think we're basically good to go. I don't think I need to level any more. Yeah, he's almost back at 7. Parameter is almost at 9, which is insane. I feel like that didn't buff him properly. Oh, I think the bug exists in this game. This sucks. He was at 900. He should have been at 1800 if all of them landed. Just so Chad is aware of what I'm talking about. I think we got cheated. Um, I don't think these guys' levels matter. I guess I could try to go for buffs again, so let's see. Yeah, see, his attack didn't go up. I don't think this is doubled. That does make buffing him very annoying. Yeah, see what I mean, chat? Oh, it's still bug. Boo. They should have definitely fixed this on the PC version. Big sigh, chat. That's going to make strategy a bit harder. Also, wow, Kirk's character is so strong, he just one-shot everything. Hmm. Uh, let's lure them towards us a little more. So unfortunate, chat. Yeah, because it just makes leveling really difficult for no reason. Oh, I should be able to do 700 with 1700. This should be fine. Oh, now he doesn't want to dodge? Whatever, chat, whatever. He got some experience, that's all that matters, I guess. Whatever, though. Uh, let's have Imperimeter just clean this up. Giga star time. Ooh, didn't get the kill. Well, in that case, uh, you're weak to ice. I got bad news for you. I don't even need to buff them. Well, like, we're good. Well, at least Rogue Nine's not level 1. That's that's a start. I'd like to give this kill to Imperimeter to catch his level up a little bit. Fire. To be in the bag. He's got 1600, though. Let's do... Yeah. Whatever. Didn't kill, but that's fine. We can magic boots just to build meter. Seven. What's parameter at? Nine. Nice. The parameter just got another five percent to his stats. Chris just tanked that and did not care at all. A magic boost here, and we'll uh, finish things off. 
Giga Star getting leveled up is huge. Because being able to just AoE nuke an area is going to be useful. Where versus bosses, I think we'll have Chris's character kind of take care of them. Yeah, that's so unfortunate he dodges buffs. I think I could get around that with uh, the glasses, for example. Speaking of which. I need to buy some basic healing. Seventy in. Hmm. I might actually purchase this if it comes with features. In the meantime, I can restock my healing. Rank one? Why are they level one? What? <laughs> what? Hello? Why? But why though? Alright, we're restocking healing for if we need Kirk to take a boss. I won't need it for like a while, but it'll be nice to have. I feel like I'm in a wacky world with some of these items, chat. I didn't even know they could roll rank 1 on an item that high level. Like, today I learned, I guess. Okay, got more healing. Man, oh man, chat, if this was just an int booster, I would be very happy. And we could give it to some one of our mages, or someone. Come on, we can buy three of these. I would like to buy at least one. Okay, we got another flan. Why, why are these not coming with teacher? It's not even a rare one. Come on. What is this? Another eclair. I think you get another flan. Okay, so I'm gonna only purchase one upgrade now. But I think I'm good for healing for a while, if nothing else. Yeah, I'm looking pretty good. At least I won't need to buy healing and not have it later. Buy our last flan. There's a nice little teacher. Um, yeah, I'll buy it. We'll try to get one more and then we'll move on. Because I think this would be huge for Imperimeter or literally anybody else. We're just gonna reroll until we get it. Man, oh man, if this just rolled in, we would have been done. It's like a max roll shot with Lord. Mm. Welcome, Kaiser. Hopefully you're doing well. Really unlucky. Just want a single teacher. I'm not even asking for, like, advanced item here. Cut me a break. Right, chat? Like, what is this? They rolled level 1 for some reason. Is Foresight just bugged and it just rolls like that? I'll try one more reroll, otherwise I'll just go with what I have. I'm kind of annoyed that this is taking quite a while. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me? Oh, well, I mean, that's just a... That's just an auto-purchase. <laughs> right, chat? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That, wait, that was so much better than the other ones. That almost made up for what happened earlier. I mean, just a casual 121 in on the store. It's basically as good as a belt. No way I'm not taking that. I can afford one more set of glasses. I'm gonna check one more time. We'll move on. That is technically good enough. Alright, so let's go and just go for raw stats now. The parameter was just using a 35 before, but we can make him take one of these ridiculous ones. Oops, I need to do that. Alright, so we have some health for healing. That's all we really need. We should still be able to revive. I just want to compare what we picked up. We lose, like, barely any int, but I gain almost 70 int. Okay. Or barely lose hit, get int. We have a 157 prop, Pravda, which is going to be hard to beat. I could remove the Feather token for another int booster, which I think I will. That'll leave Chris with... Potentially one of these, which is not terrible. I actually get more from replacing the feather token here, which is good. Just got a small boost. I just give up the SP. I think that's fine. Again, both of their ints pretty good. 
Now I can use the hand-me-downs to potentially protect our characters a little better. I think I'll give Calvisham this, so he can tank a hit a little better. I need to get a gun on him at some point, but I don't need it, like, right now. That leaves the opera glasses from before. I can give it to basically anybody, so I might as well just give it to, uh, RJ Chaos. Okay. So with that, let's try to heal up. That worked out. So we now have three characters with really high damage, and we have somebody we can assist to get higher damage. Let's continue. So I'm feeling pretty good. Our eggs are not all in one basket in this run. Pack up plus one to ally damage one. Mm. I mean, if I summon Kirk, they can't really do anything. His defense is really good. Like, it's way above what they have. The only thing I need... Oh. I just need to move this off. Okay. I can try to do it with Calvisham to survive. Alright, uh, let's pull in some enemies. Good attack times two, just to give them some levels. I think this would make sense. Okay, that works. I'd like to get him back up to triple proficiency to learn the other skill. But at least now he can survive a hit or so. So I'm worried about being- Oh, I didn't get status cure. I was gonna say, I'm worried about poison. We'll have to buy those next time. Um, I might have to just kill these guys unambiguously. Yeah. The question is, do I merge them? What's your resistance? 404 for 12. They're pretty even. I could probably kill them with the mages. What I can do is have Gunna bite it. Throw you here. And I can have Gunna die. Throw you. And I have target. Lift you here. So level 255. So what I can do is an parameter could be here. Well, as Chris, if I need to. Well, I think I can do it with just triple buffs. Because the resistance is what, 1100? I think I can outpump it. It would be risky if I let him take a turn on his own. But I feel like if I don't pump, I'm not going to do enough damage. I know Chris has the enemy's weakness with Omega. So at minimum, I could do something like... Do something like that. Which had slightly better movement there. Now their ints are actually pretty good. Maybe this is gonna enough passes? If I just commit. If I just get one more set of buffs. I wish I moved Rogue 9 a little differently. I only regret. Yeah, let's just commit to it. I think they could get the kill here. If I double magic boost, I think I can get it. That still leaves me one other character to pick him up if I need to. Yeah, it's not too bad. We're gonna have Imperimeter go first. I don't think I have ice on him, so we'll just use Gigastar. Then we're gonna go ahead and ice with Omega Ice, and this should hopefully kill. If this double casts, this should absolutely kill. Nice. Nice. 
So yeah, now we basically could do whatever we want. So at this point, I could resummon Kirk. Actually protect our characters. Hey! Hey! Oh, are they not gonna move? <laughs> Chat, oh. Hmm. I mean, if you don't want to move, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna become a tempting decoy for you. But that means that I can kind of move up a little more, because they didn't move at all. They can keep our throwers closer, I guess, quote-unquote, in range. Him up. Our damage dealers up. Now I'm feeling pretty good. Downside, I'm probably going to miss the buff on Rogue 9, but I'm going to try anyway. Yeah, unfortunate that they did not fix the bug in the PC version. Uh, let's do... Buffs here. Who's the best hit? Terminator is the best hit. Let's try to Braveheart this. And then magic boost ourselves again here. Should be good enough. On the plus side, that means I could get a lot of proficiency out of this area. Okay, we managed to get the max. That's good. So if they try to attack Kirk, I'm not really all that worried. Given that we have two mages that could do whatever they want. Um, You're already injured, so I can attack you if I want to. Let's do something like this to give some experience. Perfect. The Rogue Nine stats looking kind of good now. Back them up. I could become a giant decoy. I could kind of walk over here and block some progress. Um, I could combine some of these people together. He has how much mana? 112? Not bad. But I think at this point there's not really much they could do against me. Like, I could just do normal strikes if I want to here. Just to build meter. But I think it'll be better just to keep him back for now. Let's magic buff, so that way we're at max rank. We'll move Calvisham up for throws, maybe? I don't think anybody else is in range. Leave Calvisham, like, here, I think. These people up. Magic boost for sure. Now I think it's just murder time. Ooh, that's kind of expensive to do. Can I move him in a different way? Get the magic buff out of the way. Something like this instead. Nice. Yeah, having a level 51 mage. We're, we're looking pretty good, chat. We have multiple sources of damage. We have a like a tanky-ish character. That's a little unfortunate. I just need to combine some people and we should be good to go. Do something like this. Think this will one shot Kirk's character? <laughs> I can just throw him and sacrifice him if I want to. I think a parameter needs to clean up this guy. I don't know if I can one shot this guy or not. It's gonna be an interesting challenge. The try can bring all the magic buffs that I might need here. But his double casting means I should be at max in at all times. His resistance is terrible. Maybe I could get this kill? With just one character? Go for it. 
There's nothing else I could just body block with these characters. Do something like. Oh, I can even lift him. I think that matters though. So we need to definitely hit weakness here, or I don't think I'm gonna do enough damage. Giga fire for sure. So hit, hit, hit. Mega fire, hit, hit, hit. Maybe it kills. Oh, that's big damage. Good job. 55 is pretty good. So between the two of them, they could kill basically everything, is what I'm learning. If I could get a little closer, I could probably kill with a normal strike. So I think what we could try to do is buff his damage, but it's very likely to whiff. Yeah, it whiffed. Stupid bug. Alright, with these in mind, I don't think this enemy can kill either of our mages. I think we're actually too tanky. One I'm actually worried about is this gunner, so we're gonna go get rid of this gunner. Like, oh, I used the throw already. Never mind, we're gonna be a decoy so the gunner targets that character instead of somebody important. Calvisham living yet again. Oh, Calvisham, don't attack. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Calvisham. Your, your health up actually mattered in this run. Holy. Nice, let's throw you into you. So now we have a super gunner, which is kind of annoying, but we have a very helpless zombie over here. Can I feed a kill? Do Rogue 9. Let's find out. I'm going to use the accuracy of Imperimeter to try to hit this. And we hit it. What can I say? You're welcome. I know. Calvisham actually face tanking. <laughs> He has enough health that it actually matters. Double ring defense made a difference. I don't know if this will kill. Might have Calvisha coming down his life for this one. We'll find out. Oh no. Got the kill. There we go. Rogue Nine's at a good position for the most part. His defense is absolutely atrocious. But his dodge rate should be high enough that he should be just auto-dodging most enemies at this point. The gunner will probably still kill him instantly. Oh. He shot Kirk's character? Okay. We call that a mistake. Let's go ahead and build some proficiency on these characters. Let's do this. Because attack times too, I'm getting good proficiency out of this. The Kirk managed to get good proficiency here. He's at 8 already. Not Tiger Strike back. I could feed this kill to Rogue Nine as well. It would help me a little bit if I can. Um, can I do something that won't kill him? I mean, I guess I could see if Ice doesn't kill him. If it does, it's whatever. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> All right, chat, that was so close to killing by accident. Holy... Anyway, uh, Tiger Strike and die. Okay, there should be a lot of money as I stack some people together. Nice. Master Etna! Look at that, dude! Is this King Krzyzewski's portrait? What's it doing here, dude? Don't you remember anything? This painting was stolen from the castle. After King Krzyzewski passed away, the painting disappeared. I never knew it was here. Are you sure, dude? Couldn't it be a fake? On the back, there's a note that says it's mine, so it's gotta be real. There you go. You were gonna steal it, dude! What are you doing? Hurry up and carry the painting to my room. Roger that, dude! I thought a rich demon was living here, but it turns out it's just some crook. I was gonna kill him quickly, but I've changed my mind. He's gonna have to suffer. Come on, let's hurry up and find the owner of this place. Aye, aye, dude! King Krzyzewski, no matter what happens, my loyalty is always with you. If you were still around, I wonder what you'd say to me. Dot, 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 chat. Well, Calvisham actually survived that somehow. So good job, Calvisham. You living was actually really nice, because that made them waste their time. 
but we're almost at 300 deaths, which is good. Rogue's Nine base attack went from about 900 to 1200, so that's actually really strong. And Kirk's damage is insane right now, so we can make him go to almost 4600 attack. We have Imperimeter at 1700 in, and we have Chris at 1600. So both of them are very, very strong when we can basically double stack. I don't think there's anything else I want from here, but I'll check real quick. Oh, wait, there was. I wanted a uh, fairy dust. I want exactly one fairy dust. <laughs> right, Chad? There when I get hit by sleep again, I need to be able to get rid of that. Um, I'd like to give Calvisham gun. We'll see what happens. Am I giving him something cheap? I'm thinking about it. Him poking enemies at a distance just to annoy them would be very funny to me. It's like a little too expensive for me. Yeah, if they're not gonna roll really well, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, whatever. We'll pick up gun at some point. One more thing before we continue. So we have Chris at 55, Kirk is at 72. We might need to level Kirk a bit more. But I'm feeling pretty good. We have like four really decent characters. And with how many transmigrations we've been doing, their levels have put them into basically god tier status for where we're at. In another location. My legs are getting numb. No, I can't give up now. This must be one of Miss Edna's tests. A space detective has to be able to overcome this. <gasps> I think about it, assistants don't get to transform and fight. Ugh. But transforming is the best part. Maybe if I ask Miss Etna, she'll let me transform. Yes, a transforming assistant. It's never been done, but I could be the first. I better hurry and decide on a pose. Ha! Transform! Trainee Flawed! Let's see. I should turn my hands like this, and then I'll do... Flawed! Uh, yes? Oh! Who is it? It is I, God! A bee even holier than the seven. There we go. G -g God? Oh, where are you? I'm afraid I cannot reveal myself. But, Flog, listen to me very carefully. Is it really God? I think I've heard this voice before. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but who else would know why you, an angel, are in the netherworld? You have been sent on a mission by the Seraph to assassinate the Overlord. How do you know that? Because I am God. Oh, that does make sense. <laughs> Blonde, I will tell you a secret. The demon girl that you met earlier? You mean Miss Edna? Yes. That demon girl, Etna, is the detestable overlord of the netherworld. Thank you, Barky, for resubscribing. Hope you're doing well. What? That can't be true. Miss Etna is a demon, but she is also a space detective. What are you talking about? Are you saying that I, God, am lying to you? No, but... Edna is the demon who is bringing this world into chaos. As God, I command you to eliminate this Edna. 
okay. What are you doing? Now go! Yes, sir. <laughs> what an idiot. That demon girl can't possibly be the Overlord. If Flan dies, all will be fine. And if by chance Flan does succeed, I can report to the Seraph that Flan has disobeyed his orders. Which means the mission to eliminate the Overlord will fall to me. Once I succeed, I will be one step closer to becoming the next Seraph. <laughs> Okay, so let's analyze. What are we up against? A lot of level 90 characters. I'm noticing their level is starting to scale very rapidly. Their stats are terrible. And that's mostly because they don't have gear. Once they start getting gear, we might be in trouble. Unless they never get gear. Then maybe this is okay. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, combine these characters together. Probably have Calvisham combined. Yeah, like, they're, they're to the point where I could probably just hit them with, uh... Probably in Parameter for damage. Make it easy. Let's make sure Kurt gets a kill. We could do something like... Oh, they're all, like, kind of weak to wind. Do something like this. That is, like, the perfect way to group them together for an easy kill. I don't even need to level... Rogue Nine actually also surprisingly good at dodging. Hopefully he actually dodges here though. Actually, we'll put Rogue Nine like right here. That's the right call. Thinking about what would make sense here. I just need Kirk to basically wail on one of them, so I could throw him into this one. I could do something like... Throw them here, then have one more merge. have anybody tanky left to do this, so whoever's gonna do this is probably gonna die, so sorry, try. And now I might want to consider buffing Kirk. Do that with some of our other characters. See, this is why we made sure multiple characters have Braveheart. <laughs> Just for this kind of exact scenario. Big status jump. Ooh, that didn't kill. Wow, really? With wow, I'm really surprised. We have 3,800 to a 600, and it's one of our most used skills. Wow, I'm really surprised that didn't kill. Uh, well, we're about to lose a lot of people here. Huh. I didn't even think his defense was that high. If it was like 900, I would have thought so. Oh, he's single targeted? Oh, okay. Well, in that case... I guess we just keep merging them. I mean, I'll just up Chris more, I think. Or Kirk, I mean. Let's go for... let's move Frost out of the way. So Frost could probably merge. One, two, three. Yeah, he can merge him into one of those. So what I can end up doing is... Moving Kirk here for a moment, because this will make our cost cheaper. Get two Brave Hearts going. We'll do a third, just in case Rogue Nine doesn't get it. Yeah, you didn't get it. Dude, that's so annoying, chat. Man, Rogue Nine would be so good if that bug was fixed. Anyway, now we have a guaranteed kill here. 
But the question is, how much do I weaken the other enemies? I think I... Move in Parameter over here. And I think I Gigastar both of these enemies. It's the only thing that makes sense. That way at least they're not at full health when they merge. And I could do the same thing with Chris's character, who also should survive a hit. They're weak to... Ice? So hit both of them. So now the merge should be pretty powerful. I could use Calvisium to throw again, but I don't know if we'll get the kill. I could try it. Calvisium's very likely to die here, but... For the cause, chat. For the cause. For 2000, I think I could guarantee a kill. It's when I combine these two together, I'm not sure. We'll find out, though. 3000 is probably not gonna happen, so we're probably gonna need to lift up with Rogue Nine. Oh my gosh, come on, chat, come on! <laughs> Seriously, I was that close. Can I just punch that and kill? We can. Okay, good. I was gonna say, chat. I was gonna say, if we couldn't get that kill, I was gonna be so so upset. Okay, so now we should get a, de a decent amount of cash. Um, who hasn't used the spell here? Or has everybody used the spell? Oh, it's because I can move them. That's why it was giving me those actions. Okay, I'll move them further back. Then I should run out of action. Okay, good, good, good. Good luck, Calvisham. Might take a hit or two here. We'll see. Oh, rip Calvisham. Oh, the ninja dodging, though. There we go. Ninja, like, get out of here. All right, we need to level up our proficiencies more. Let's go for a normal attack on something in here. Or actually, what we could do... I think we need Imperameter to uh, clean it up a little. Let's do magic buffs for... These two. I need Frost to take a step back. And he can magic buff. They can magic buff. Now their magic total should be pretty good. This should be big damage. Yeah, 2800 is pretty good. Let's go ahead and do uh, hit all of them formation. Both weak to win. That is actually super convenient. Didn't quite get a kill. But that also means I could punch them with Rogue Nine. So now his stats are actually just pretty decent across the board. I can use him to clog up the pathway so they can't get by him. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move him here. Chris might have to tank A Blow. some levels. We need Kirk to hit level 10 proficiency. Let's see what happens. Chris should survive this. He did survive it. Nice. Now I can get a nice kill here, I think. Oh, what is this enemy doing all the way over here? Guess he did the charge attack. I think at this point I just want to combine the enemies. Need to fire. Probably want to merge those two together, although I can't move. I'm gonna make it a bit more complicated than it should be. Right, we definitely want to magic boost these two. They should be basically at full strength. Pretty much. I think I could kill two of these targets. I can lift you out of the way. But it does mean I'm very likely to do these characters here. Might be fine. Ooh, I'm actually low on EP. I didn't realize that. Oh, 
Well, let's see what happens. Okay, Chris got another kill. Sadly, don't... I needed, like, one more person to live there. The poison might actually make me game over here. I'm not sure. I think you're one of them. Oh, that dodge was actually so needed. Okay, so Chris died, so it's down to Imperimeter to kill this thing. Going to Flan, so I survived this. I think I will also Flan in just a second. Yeah, this enemy being out of control is kind of a problem, because Imperimeter is basically out of MP. It's so annoying. If I wasn't paralyzed, I think this would be fine. I think I'd go for a Flan here again. Um, I think I could kill him, but it's going to be very annoying. What I'm going to do is... I'm over here. MP recover here. I think I could survive one zombie attack if I need to. I just need to do some damage here. I did no damage. Uh, well... I think I gotta do this. They're probably gonna kill one of these characters, if not more. This could be a problem. Okay, Imperimator didn't die, that's important. Did I get unparalyzed? I did not. So annoying, if I could just move! Come on, am I really gonna game over because I got paralyzed poison? Such a lame way to lose. I think a parameter's done. So the fact that I can't reposition is making this hard. If I could just reposition, I'd be completely fine. Like, I just have no ability to move whatsoever. Um... Yeah, I guess he ended up with too much resistance. His defense is really low, so if I could just get to the point where I can one-shot him, I'll be fine. Yeah, just got too much resistance. Please let me move. Alright, let's cure ourselves here. Let's do what we can. Reduce their numbers. Why did they... Why did they all choose to target the protagonist? What the hell was that? Well... Now I'm gonna die because that happened. Why did that happen? Seriously? I gotta quit. I guess the game thought it would kill me, so it didn't spa- I thought it was gonna all target the ninja. That is really annoying that that happened, actually. Those little cheaters. They didn't even kill the ninja, that was the worst part. Sorry about that, chat. I feel like I got hard cheated on that. Like, if all three of them had just targeted the ninja, then I would have been fine, and I would have been able to kill them with this character. So here's what we learned. Level 500 is too high, unless I monitor the resistance. I can't kill them. It's fine. I think what we're gonna do is... Man, I wish these characters were a little tankier. Uh, this character do this. Oh, wait, I remember what I did last time. Yeah, it's like, oh, their, their resistance was like just slightly too high. What we're gonna do is... These enemies can take Omega Fire. These enemies can take Giga Star. Much better. Now we just need to roll them together a little better. Leave him to die. That should be fine. Merge them into one super zombie. 
I think I got greedy with this one, which was fine, because I think I remember just, like, low rolling. Oh yeah, now he has, like, way less health compared to before. All I need to do now is just make sure that Kirk has uh, a little bit of assistance, and we're fine. Yes, we learned that he has to have more than double. Let's do this. Back his turn. That could be bad that I cancelled that. Also, I realized I probably should have just tried buffing the ninja there. Okay, that time we got the kill. That's fun. Alright, this should be way easier. So, wow, they didn't kill Gansel? His stats are terrible. Wait, how did he... Chad, how did he survive? He's level 14. How did he survive that? Wait, what? I mean, I'll take it. Listen. Just, I'm just confused more than anything else. Alright, so we need to just AoE kill, I think, a few of these. That was the other mistake that I think I made. Now we make sure... Before we do this... No, I need emergency sooner. Okay. Yeah, you just don't get greedy here. I just gotta hit them with this spell first. That's what I failed to do last time. To make sure Gonna Die is gonna be able to move, move so we can this over here. Your health is ice. Okay. I don't have a 3x3. Three three. Something like this, then. Alright, so that should make merging them a little less painful. Because last time I got greedy and I didn't soften them here, which was definitely my mistake. But now, I can potentially have one of the characters come and throw, so you can merge into there. Four thousand's a lot of help. And now we're gonna weaken him more, which is the thing I didn't do last time. And then I can put away. It's targeted. This is fine. I can interrupt them from coming this way. Actually, before I do that... Parameter is not attacked yet. Let's move in Parameter a little closer. What is your resistance this time? Is it like 1700? Oh, it is really high. Oh yeah, so what we're gonna do instead... We're going to summon Rogue Nine. We'll leave them both here, and I'm gonna make sure we do as much Bravehearting as we can with these two. And then give Rogue Nine his kills back. That way Kirk's basically a full strength. Rogue Nine sadly dodged every buff. Man, that really sucks. Let's go ahead and Hurricane Slash this. Almost. Let's put him here. Yeah, how this goes. So I don't want to combine them again unless I could get a clean shot here. Oh, I forgot that Pierce. I thought I put him to block. That was a mistake. I forgot that was two spaces. I thought it was one space for some reason. That was player error. But we should be able to correct this. So what I can do is start killing these other zombies. I still don't know how Gansel has survived this, to be honest with you. But we'll take it. So two magic boosts should be enough to kill, I think, here. Sorry, Rogue Nine. I did not mean to kill you in that particular chain of events, but it just kind of happened. Alright, so that should block some of the mages. So I'm gonna do some damage here, and then we're gonna hit with ice with Chris and see how much damage this does. Didn't quite kill. Means I don't think we're gonna get the kill here either. 
were like a little shy. That is so sad. Annoying, very annoying that that happened. I thought I blocked them from doing that dash attack. Oh, wait, and Parameter actually lived. Wait a minute, that's actually huge. Oh. Well then, die. Get another magic boost in here. Okay, we're getting through here. So, and Chris is at least decently tanky. At least relative to them. I could probably hit them with the wind magic here. Nice, big kill. Make sure Imperameter is constantly sniping with Gigastar. So he's able to speed this up a little bit. Let's move him a little out of the way. I have one status cure, which means I can totally finish them off. Fortunately, I think Chris is going to die due to poison damage here. Oh! Really? He survived that? Huh. Okay. Right, chat? We're, we're not going to complain when that happens. Big level ups for Imperameter. There we go. Now we got through this. So next turn I can item up. And we still have Imperameter free, so this should be easy. Alright, so note to self, we need more status cures. Give Kirk some levels. If paralysis doesn't wear off, we're gonna cure him. There we go. Parameter, how are your stats doing? Level 9, not bad. Alright, so between the two of them, we should be good now. I didn't super stack an enemy for more hell, but I guess in a way this was kind of worth it. Right, so we're gonna walk forward, and we are just going to... Oh, there's still enemies over there. Uh, Well, we're gonna immediately flum. That should put me in a kill range. Get more money. Actually, I can save in parameter risk by just using Braveheart at a distance. I think that makes sense. You should not be able to hit a parameter from there. Nice, extra money. I think at this point we're looking good. If I combine the last two, I could get good XP. Or not XP, I could get good money. Technically, it's also good XP, but I do a little better. Although he might die here on a counterattack. That's fine. How close am I to rank 10? Not that close. Oh well. We need, like, two more stages like that to purchase another weapon. Because once we hit 130,000 or so, we need to probably buy a super sword of some sort. Just out of curiosity. 40. Although I think we rolled a pretty good sword. I remember we reset for it, just so that we wouldn't be in this position. Yeah, it might actually might be too hard to top 611. 611 is really high, thanks to that gladiator. I definitely don't regret re-rolling that. Let's continue further then. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, money. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. With you to fund my military campaign, I shall become the next overlord! <laughs> now I get it! This ugly castle belongs to Hogmiser! Who's there? 
So thank you again, Calvishan, for watching. Hopefully you get some rest. Oh, just little old me. You're Edna? We only met a few times. I'm surprised you remember me. What? I'll never forget. Before the Overlord died, you went on a shopping spree using my credit card. Because of you, I almost went bankrupt. Really? That's funny. I don't remember. Don't you dare joke around with me. I'll make you pay for what you've done. That's nice, but you might want to check this out first. You have more troops? <laughs> Should I obey him? Actually, I'm glad he's here. Once I defeat him, I'll be the next overlord. I'll squish him like a bug. Huh? You sure sound confident. Defeating you will teach anyone who opposes the prince a lesson. For the sake of the prince, have a spectacular death. Just when I finally found you, you're fighting for power and money. Is Miss Edna really the overlord like God said? If that's true... Okay. Let's see what we have here. We may or may not reset. What the heck? Enemy boost times three? Oh no, chat. Um... Hmm... And I can't lift them. That is really annoying. So we have a few enemies I could combine into the boss. Uh oh, we may be in trouble. We may be in trouble indeed. So his resistance is low. I might be able to kill him with a mage. We can weaken him a little bit. So I don't think our main strategy changes. I just have to move the Geo panel out of the way. I think I can have Calvisham do it. Oh wait, no, no, I can't lift it. Um. Hmm. I could pump the boss up to 330 or so, which wouldn't be terrible. These enemies are kind of weak. It would be nice if I could get, fight him into one. The problem are the clerics are going to end up killing us. Assuming they have damage spells. Or actually, do they not have damage spells? Wait, if they don't have damage spells, I don't care. Wait, never mind. I don't care about them then. I thought they had, like, you know, because sometimes enemies have weird abilities. It says other two, but if, if none of those are damage spells, I honestly don't care. Um... So I could use Rogue 9, potentially, to do what I need to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Oh, I need 7 spaces still. Damn. Technically, if I did something like this... I should be able to triple strike it out of the way. Uh, you know what? I don't- I don't feel like playing with diagonals. Other with that. Um, so I could just combine them into a super cleric. The problem is attack- enemy boot times three could make that a problem. But you know what, chat? Let's experiment in real time.
have Edna as the last thrower. This could be very interesting. They're very weak. I don't know if this will make them unkillable to me or not, though. We should find out, though. Whew. Chat. Ooh, those levels. Holy. They're like a boss already. Alright, we're gonna definitely need to weaken them. So let's go ahead and come over here. Actually, it's a crick this way. So even if they move from their spot, it shouldn't matter. It's only it only matters if they have some other kind of attack. Don't even think I could hurt them at all with resistance. So they have triple stats on currently. So I think until we deal with that, we can't do anything. So because we can't deal with that, let's go ahead and if I destroy this, then they get no attack plus ones. But attack plus one would be useful for killing them. Ah, uh, but. Well... No, I think it'll still kill it. Hmm... Yeah, I don't think there's a way to do this and not kill the other thing. That's kind of annoying. Alright, so what we're gonna do is... And I should be able to throw the other one into the super group. So if I leave her here, do I have enough to send my other characters there? I think I do. I'll do something like this. Might actually not be strong enough. This thing is tanky. Alright, let's end our turn and see what happens. Here goes. I mean, that was certainly a melee attack. Why did I do that? I don't know why I didn't Hurricane Slash. That was a misplay. Let's move our characters out of the way. So if they leave their pedestal, that's fine. We still have most of our characters, so I can stall on the hog. That's fine. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I can take some hits from him. The other ones I'm worried about. So the Geo Explosion actually hurts everybody, which is interesting. So if Hogmeister wants to fight me, I don't think this matters. The question is, how do I damage this thing and kill them? Right, <laughs> chat. Like, this, this character is actually a monster. I don't know if I can actually kill them. Um, I'm going to let you auto-attack me. We'll find out, though. That's fine. I mean, if the other target never moves, that also helps us significantly. Because that means I should be able to just spell blast them repeatedly. All I need to do is just lure the, lure the boss away from everybody else. Yeah, like, damage like that does not matter at all, because I can just do this. So we could force him to come really far away for a little bit. And that'll buy us a turn. Here goes. Brave hearted. Oh, so he actually won't chase? Really? Why didn't he chase? Let's move one tile closer. Maybe we'll chase. I mean, that's good to know, because maybe I could go in the corner now and actually just leave him back here. Huh. So I should just be able to do this then, right? Without the boss moving. Oh. <laughs> right, chat? Oh. Does that mean I could just do this as well? Okay. Right. <laughs> right, chat? Okay. We, we got our plan. I think I could do this. 
The enemy might heal themselves, I'm not sure. I haven't seen them use it yet, but in theory that could happen. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and buff to speed this up a little bit. So that means if I throw them, their stats will go to this character. So I just need to weaken Hogmiser a bit before that happens. That thing can happen. At least I'm still able to hurt them. <laughs> right, chat? Okay. I mean, they're not even casting spells. We're like, okay. <laughs> right? Okay. So, wow. This is kind of insane, honestly. I like this exploit. I just need to hit them two more times. And then the amount of health they're going to add is going to be insanely low. And that means I can also get Hogmiser to attack me and move him into position. And then in the meantime, what I can end up doing is that we have all the time in the world to prepare for magic damage. So I might as well just start pumping our mages, right? And then I can have one extra thrower, like Halvisham here, if I need it. Like, okay. So now we have two different sets of characters that could potentially kill the boss. And every swing here is really good for us. So one more swing should put them at a thousand. And they don't seem to be healing at all, which is very exploitable. Make sure we're pumped up. So we're gonna do one more Braveheart just to counter the loss. And we're gonna win Cutter. And then we can just throw them together at any point. That's pretty much as perfect as it's gonna get, right, chat? Like, like, okay, you can't really top how low that is. So I can actually start moving... Rick over here to heal, deal damage to Hogmiser. And in the meantime, I can now just magic boost... Both of these characters, the max. And we know Calvisham should be able to just pick up and throw the enemy. As long as I don't put him, like, right next to him, that should be good. So again, this is a lot of... Ooh, Chris went up a spell level with Mastery. That is actually kind of important. Again, this is about as good as I can get it. And now he's very injured. Do we need to do like one more swing on him and it's over? I'm gonna put out Visham away just so that the enemy is not tempted to attack us. In fact, I'm gonna move Tri further away as well. That's the only way this could get messed up is if he attacks the back row here. We're going to put him percentage-wise basically as low as possible. So now... I can hit Hogmiser with a spell and then merge them. I think that would make sense to do. Let's go ahead and Braveheart. The only concern is can... if this doesn't kill... I'm going to stall with the heal here, actually. I want to get him lower, but I need to make sure we can pick up the enemy if things go awry. So maybe... Oh, maybe I can actually use Kirk to throw him initially. So I'm going to let him attack one more time. And then I'm just going to buff one more time as well. That way I can set up a little bit of a buff here. Man, that extra range on Braveheart matters so much, chat. You have no idea. This should keep our damage high. So if he attacks us again, he's in trouble. And then we could just summon Calvisham to do the throw that we need to do. Parameter can come over here a bit more. And I could put away Gansel if I need to. 
think that just makes sense. Want to match poops up in parameter? This is a little risky to do. I'm not sure if this is in range. We'll find out though. So our int's looking really good. So now we just need to throw them next turn and we're good. Hopefully he normal attacks here. Perfect. That's probably about as good as I want to risk it. Let's make a judgment call. It's a lot of damage. And we even killed him with anything, so let's put away Gansel. I can pick them up with Eviscerated, I think. We're gonna try to chip him a little bit. He's gonna take, like, basically zero damage. But I think we could stall for a couple turns, so it's not the end of the world here. So let's make sure we magic boost. As much as we can here. Okay. Parameter's got the big finish. They're weak to ice. Let's see. I don't care who gets this kill as long as the enemy dies. Do you know what I mean, Chad? As long as they die, I don't care who gets it. Uh, definitely want to use Giga Star here. Oh, and Parameter got it. Oh, congratulations to Parameter. Oh, look at that health total. Look at that health total. Holy... Holy chat. There's the money. Yay! There it is. What a finish. You sure don't have a lot of power to back up your big map. <laughs> and parameter power rises to the heavens. Alright, pretty squad. Steal everything that looks valuable. You, you can! I won't be able to survive without my money! I am surprised. How did you do wait, how did you do so much damage? Did he have 2,000 resists? Wait, hold on. Let me get this straight. Does the zombie have some innate resistance to magic? Because why did the why did the zombie with 2,000 resistance only take 500 from Imperameter? But we just hit a boss with like almost 3,000 plus and that did so much more damage. Like it was like four times the amount. Whatever game. This might not be the best time to tell you this, but I really don't care whether you starve to death or not. Like, that, that was kind of insane, honestly. How horrible! Is she really a space detective? She can't be! Space detectives help the weak and protect the innocent! And they have a strong belief in justice! I'm really curious what level in Parameter is after this. He killed a level 600 enemy. But... Yeah, that, that, that felt like some cheesy exploit. I'm happy we found that in real time. Dot, dot, dot. You talk back to me again and I'll kill ya! Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, miser. Yes? Your son's got guts. Unlike you. Uh, you think so, too? I'm very proud of him. I could use a kid like him. What? Pretty squad! Tie this kid up and take him away! Aye, aye, dude! split you two apart. Really? You're so kind. There we go, Chan. It was all a trick. Don't thank me yet. I'm gonna use both of you as slaves for life. Ah, you horrible, horrible demon! Hey, that's what you get for stealing the king's portrait. Ogmonster had no choice but to join. There's no doubt now. God told me the truth. Miss Etna claims to be a space detective, but she's really just an evil overlord. And I was almost fooled into becoming her assistant. <laughs> almost fooled? Okay. There's only one thing left to do. For God and the Seraph, I must fight Miss Etna. 
Uh, Flan, I don't recommend that. I'll teach her what a space detective should be. I have to see the stats before we end. Episode 2, Space Detective, end at end. It's time for Etna's Q&A Corner! I like that every time we save the game, it just has Etna at, like, level 6. And <laughs> you see the god party members carrying, the, carrying all the damage in the group. Don't forget, Flan is here too! I'm taking this time out of my busy schedule to answer your letters. Flan's gonna learn what Gigastar is? Probably. I mean, if you hit, like, level 70 or 80 off of this, I don't think anything would survive you while you're buffed. You might become the primary damage dealer. I would like to get Kirk to level 100, because that should unlock the final tier of Warrior, and that might be worth doing, just to squeeze out, like, potentially almost 30 attack power per level. That's kind of a big amount. And you have to answer all the questions! Alright, let's take this first letter and make it into a paper airplane! You can't do that! Here, let me read a letter. This one is from a six-year-old girl from Earth. I got into a fight with my friend, but I want us to be friends again. What should I do? You're a nice girl. Don't worry. If you apologize, you'll be friends again in no time. You're way too optimistic, Flan. It kind of makes me want to hurl. A pretty. If everyone could get along just by apologizing, we wouldn't need cops. <laughs> Certainly a take. Then, what do you think she should do? If you were a real man, you'd let your fists resolve your issues. But, she's a girl. Fine, slap each other for all I care. Violence doesn't resolve anything. Well, getting into arguments is pretty normal for friends, so they should be fine. You didn't help at all. Okay then, I'll be waiting for more of your letters. Goodbye! <sighs> Nothing gets settled around here, does it? Oh my gosh, I have to see. I have to see, chat. Woo! I'm hungry. I want some spicy volcano soup. Master Etna! That angel is gone, dude! Who cares? That was kind of the point. Man, I want that soup. Hey, pretty! Whip some up! You got three minutes! But that's impossible, dude! Fine. I'll give you one whole minute then. It just got shorter, dude! Besides, we don't have the ingredients! Volcanic meat can only be found at the Sea of Gehenna, dude! Hey, I know! Why don't you go to the Sea of Gehenna and steal the ingredients? That place is burning hot! And there's a lot of powerful monsters, dude! So? <laughs> That's why I've been asking to have leftovers for breakfast, dude. I said I want some spicy volcano soup. That scorching magma flavor has a divine aroma that stirs your hunger. And every time you bite into the ground human soul, the flavor just bursts in your mouth. And the collaboration between the exotic monster meat and the magma spices is, well, simply put, the ultimate combo. That's what makes volcano soup the best. And I need some right now. That's it. I've decided we're going to the Sea of Gehenna. Ugh. Volcano soup is calling for me. Finale, Chronicles of, N Chronicles of Narnia. At Narnia. At Narnia, there we go. There you go. Wow, we're at the finale already. Although I think it's a two-parter, according to online stuff. I'd like to change my hairstyle. What do you think about an afro? Uh, you probably shouldn't with that face. I'm one of the prettier girls of my kind. You're a girl? It's so boring. And worked for me. I'm not that bored. Bye, Chad. You know what? For how? How did he only hit 55? What? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on a second. We killed a level 500 something. We only went up like eight levels. What? <laughs> Actual tomfoolery, Chad. How is Imperimeter not like level 70 right now? Shenanigans. What? I know. 
I know it was an XP up, but I'm like, that wasn't a low level that we killed. Because if we combined, like, what, a 500 plus a 99? So you kill this level 600 character, and you got less than... S less than 10 levels, I think? Well, you learned Omega Star, if nothing else, so they're they're really gonna learn about this the power of the star very soon. But that's at least an important unlock. Sadly, Chris will not be able to unlock the terror forms of his spells, I think as is. But we can take a look to see if we can make any other super mages. Things are so rebellious these days. Other day they're doing volunteer work. That is serious stuff. To contact the Break a Wish Foundation. Oh, that was lame. I wonder where fake Laharl went. Oh yeah. Completely forgotten, dude. It's so sad. <laughs> Cheer up. We'll check one more time. Check every time, Jan. Alright, so question. Was there any dialogue I could have been having by going back into the coffin room? No. Just wanted to check real quick. So we have a hilarious amount of cash. Look at that cash total, chat. We have two million. So we could definitely get another super weapon if we need it, which we probably do at some point. I guess we'll set up for next session. I think what we'll do is let's pass the more expensive item bill, because now we actually have money. So there's no downside to doing it. Look at him, Parameter's mana. Look, look how much mana he has now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Disgusting. I don't want to improve his counterattack. That would just be suicide for a mage. Um. Actually, transmigrate. Question. Hmm. We now have access to Galaxy Skull. Hmm. Chat, hmm. I mean, I don't think I need to have other mages at this point. I could make Chris and and Parameter both do it. Hmm. I want to double check one thing. I don't like looking up things while we're playing, but I need to know specifically does Galaxy Skull learn all spells? I don't remember. It's been too long. I didn't think we'd ever get to the point where it was relevant, to be honest with you. I'm now checking the spell list. Galaxy Skull gets... It looks like all the Omegas, including Star. So to unlock the Terras, I still need a basic Fire Mage. So I have to be level 150 before I see it? I don't think that's going to happen in the playthrough. I mean, it's really good, but dot dot dot. I think it makes more sense just to upgrade with the Galaxy Skull. I want to check something before we commit. Can get you up to 29. Hmm. I think it's a, another 5 int per level, which isn't bad. I'd be more willing to put Chris there. I don't know if I want to give up in Parameter's Star Skull ability. Mm. Oh, he's, he would have to go through exams. So I have enough for Rogue Nine to upgrade again. I might do it. I'm contemplating if I want him to actually be a brawler or not. One other thing I forgot to check for, by the way. Do we unlock any other, other classes because I put Ninja up a couple levels? Not really. I mean, we got a better version of Ninja. So yeah, that's kind of a... hmm. That's kind of an open question for me. I don't think we should have more than four characters that get XP. Arguably, we only want one character with XP. But we're at the point where we get diminishing return on levels. So it's easy to have a lot of people at level 100, but harder to get them to, like, 120. Just thinking about if it's worth doing it. I would prefer Kirk gets a level soon. 
Interestingly, Chris has five movement to impair meters four. Maybe? I don't know. I guess I'll take the chat's opinion. Should I bump one of our nages up a tier? We could definitely do so right now. I don't think I'm ever going to hit 150 in the playthrough. Even if some by some miracle you hit 100, I don't see it here. My only concern is just dumping your resistance here. Because Chris has a lot of raw stats. And even then, Imperimeter has way more. I mean, I, could, I guess there's no downside to making them both do that. I guess. Maybe there's no downside? I guess I could make another Star Mage if I want in the future. Yeah, let's just actually just make both of them that. That should be fine. I mean, I'm not going to level up high enough for it to matter, I think, before that point. So what I can end up doing is, right now I went from 14 in, I'm gonna get 2 in per level. And all my other stats are much better. Maybe it's worth it? I don't think Distinguished is worth going for. Is I gonna have it 29 in, which is kinda high. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll have both Chris and Imperimeter go there. So all of them should learn Omega by themselves. If I don't have anything at level 1 maxed out, I should do it now. Yeah, I have Omega Wind, so that's all I should really do there. I have Omega Ice. I could level here, I guess. So yeah, well, with two mage characters, that scale extremely well. Because getting up to level 50 at least seems pretty easy. After that, it starts to slow down pretty significantly. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. This will be probably one of our final promotion exams. We might as well do this now before we go into a bonus session tomorrow. That way we could just go straight into the action. So that's level 2. Giga Ice is decent. Giga Wind could use some levels. So that will make our stats go down slightly, which is unfortunate. But we have, we have time to build it back up. I think I'd rather just get the raw stats. Before I do that. Yes. Mm. I should pass the expensive stuff before I do it, because I think I could still get what I need. So we'll do one more promotion exam. And that should give us enough, and then I can use expensive items. As long as all my omegas are level two, I think I'm good. Looks like they are. Yeah, at this point, the two of them should have so much in, and decent enough HP that they should survive a hit or two, which is kind of funny given that they're mages. But given that I don't think I can learn more than Omega with this character, there's no reason to keep Chris this way. Yeah, so this is just a better version of what Chris is playing as. Arguably, I could have kept in Parameter where he was, but I think with the fact that I'm not going to hit a high level, it just makes sense to take advantage of the triple elements, because we see what happens when we hit weakness. We know in Parameter is missing Omega Ice, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so with that in mind, let's try to pass expensive item. So we need to purchase items if we wanted to go higher rank from here. The other thing I'm going to make sure before I pass that. Oh, I only need 500. Okay, that's fine. Then. Let's pass more expensive stuff then. If I want to get into a fight, I could technically do raise military funds, but I don't want to do it on purpose. I'll only do it if the game really forces me to. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> hey, chat, like, oh, okay. Well, time to, I guess, level real quick. Have Rogue Nine basically do whatever Rogue Nine wants. I don't know if they can even hit him. I guess I could just feed literally all the kills to Imperameter. That would save me some time. I was gonna say, did the bottom... Did this guy... How did I fail that vote? I'm actually just confused. Alright, let's have them come closer. 2000 int is kind of insane. magic boots. Have Rogue Nine come over here, start a fight. Might as well just build meter. Okay. Okay. They should be able to get a kill here. Nice. I don't think he needs too much to level. And unfortunately for this one senator, I think it's a pair of meters time to say, GIGASTAR! It's just absolutely deleted. Might as well as build proficiency while I'm here. That'll be the last time I think I class up in parameter, as well as Chris, because there's not any real class that's higher. Oh man, they... why are these people even bothering? I don't even think they could kill Imperameter as is. Giga Star. Is there another enemy coming, or is it just this guy? Wow, they couldn't even kill Imperameter. Giga Star. Oh, I almost have. Oh, I have Ice Unlocked if I want to. No, it's Giga Star time. Yeah, there we go. Not enough Giga Star chat. So now, with that unlocked, is there anything fun we can do? Ambitian should be not the highest we can get. Oh, it costs 33 million for the next one. Also, chat, look at that damage difference between these two weapons. What the heck is that? Maybe I should hold on to my money. Wait, why is only the axe that insane? Hold on. Can we talk about this? <laughs> 500 attack increase. What is the stacks? The stack stats are insane. Alright, okay, well I guess we save up money for a super axe, I guess. We'll sell the crappy candy. There's no reason for me to ever use this in combat. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to purchase uh, status gears for the next time we play. Right, chat, we are we are not getting stun locked out again. Huh. Settings are kinda of terrible. I mean the hero bell is not bad. Hmm. I want to see if there's one more version of the belt before we go further. I mean, it rolled pretty well, but I still think it could do better. Check a couple times. I think in theory it could probably hit like 260. Or we'll just not get anything of interest in between. So unfortunate. 
check a couple times, then we'll look at the other weapons, because I want to get an understanding of what we're saving for. I could save up for 300, or 3 million, in order to get another super weapon. Or I could buy a super weapon that's slightly weaker. Oh, yeah, see, this is, this one's kind of insane. I think I have to purchase this. Yeah, that rolled almost 100 on a belt. I have to purchase that. That means for Kirk alone, a pretty big power difference. Also improve Rogue Nine's damage a little bit. That's fine, we can make up the money later. The only other thing we need to do is just make sure Chris's character gets the promotion and then we're done. Yeah, this is a lot more HP per level. We go from 11, which is not too bad, to 12. I think our defense doesn't increase by that much. Our resistance is godlike, though. Ooh, 29 in a level? That's a lot of stats. That is a lot to the other stats. And 16 HP per level is like a fighter's level of health. That must be why I was saying they were tankier earlier. So they're basically immune to magic damage, and they also have decent health. So sadly, that's going to destroy our staff rank a little bit, but I think it's worth it in the long run. Love and Parameter already at this many stats. So also having five movement is huge. We can see that transmigrating also made their jump better. So I should be able to escape a little easier compared to some of the other characters. I guess the question is, do I want to rank up Rogue Nine? Probably? I might wait a little bit, though. Because he only gets one attack difference there. Yeah, we can see, like, 15 health. They have the same HP as a battler, which is kind of funny. Ninja getting more speed is good at some point. I think we'll leave it as is. Is there anything else I want to do before we stop for the night? I got basically everything done. We should be able to get one more consumable here. We're still off by, like, 22,000 health. Kind of sucks. We don't have characters that are very tanky, other than Kirk at the moment. So every time he gets damaged and he gets revived, that's good. But until we get to that point, it's just kind of mediocre. So he also even has a statistician on. Honestly, he's got a really good setup overall. Take a parameter out real quick. No statistician. Arms master. Chris actually did get this. That would explain why Chris leveled so much then. Maybe because he had the statistician. The only thing really missing on parameters is maybe a better set of glasses that has statistician. I guess I could check real quick here. Because I'm just going to sit on the rest of our money. And by the end of the next episode, I'm going to buy one weapon. That depends on who's doing the best, I guess. Yeah, the boots I don't really care about. Unless I see some, like, Insano 400 attack item in here, I don't think it really matters. Um... Yeah, Foresight only having level 1 is so terrible. It feels like that has to be its gimmick. It'll reset a couple times, otherwise I think I'm gonna give up here. Int is not bad. But we need it to go from not bad to amazing. So in theory, I could get defense. I don't want to, though. Question from the standpoint of the store. What were the other super swords like? The Levitane is the next upgrade, which honestly is weaker than what we have currently. There's no reason for that. Diablox, whoa, this Diablox sword is really good. It's not worth upgrading on Kirk, but if we were using another sword user, I would have taken this. It's not worth spending all this money to get 20 attack. I'll put it that way. Oof, the fist items are just kind of mediocre. Fortunate. Lansky Staff is the next big upgrade. 
So in theory, we might be able to get a 700 weapon. Which I think it matters more for the mages, because it's easier to get their resistance or their proficiencies up. So everybody's basically rank 7 except for the heart character. That's good. Okay, we have two super mages, which should carry us the rest of the playthrough. I could see if there's another in-up item. Holy Orb has been kind of useful for the SP, but at high levels it matters less. Yeah, I wish we had just like one more. If we had Devil Ring, it would replace what Imperimeter has, and then Chris would have enough for all SP. But I think right now, their setup is fine. I don't think our other stats matter at all. No. <laughs> I doubt there's a cheap gun in here, but I could technically give Calvisham a weapon. Putting Gladiator on a gun is a big insult. I just want to see like what kind of guns are here, then we'll be fun. Okay, so, we didn't have to worry about having a ranked up item for the item world, because I'm pretty sure I got rid of that. I guess that was just a gimmick in the main story, at least. We have a whole bunch of brawlers I could level at some point, if I really wanted to. But I think we're going to try to beat the game with our current party. Rogue Nine is an alternate melee character, mostly just to dodge and bait out the enemy. Perk for damage, and we now have Chris and Imperimeter as the... Big, big damage carries. So I think we should be fine with this setup. We don't have any, like, mate, or we don't have any, like, healers, per se. But we have a ton of healing items. Although, when I look at that, we actually used a few. With this, this will be our, be our final purchase. But I think overall the run's going fine. You know, we had, like, one misstep on the other stage. And that's fine, you know, we gotta learn. That is a perfect pickup then. I doubt we're gonna hit item rank 12, which I think is the max in the game. But we got pretty close. We might hit 11 by the end of the game with another super purchase. But I don't think any of these other characters need an upgrade other than maybe our fist user. And honestly, 1300 is not even that low. It's, it's just okay. So if he had a Super Fist item, he'd probably be at like 1800 or so now. But I think what we'll do is we'll continually try to just rank up the Mastery for Kirk. Because if he could get Winged Slayer, that would solve a big issue that we're having currently. Without Laharl, we don't have like good AoE clear. So probably by the end of this chapter, we could reasonably get that to level 10 and solve that issue. And if we could get Rogue 9 in a counterattack war and building up his Mastery, I think that would make him worth using a bit more. And finally, I guess we have a uh, surprisingly tanky mages, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Parameters fourteen eighty four int, despite being what is it level thirteen. So both of those characters have a little bit of a climb back up to go, but I think getting more than six int per level will make up ten levels of difference. On top of that, I'll have access to all spells, which is something that will make more of a difference than I think the stats, to be honest. Because a parameter finally having Omega Ice would mean that I no longer have a gap in my spells. And also why it's not super important that I make more mages for other elements. I think we're good now. So we have some characters to give them a little more stats. So for example, they're probably adding like 10 or 20 int to the parameter and Chris. Not a whole ton, but if they happen to get incidental XP, it'll be nice. But for now, chat, let's pause here. So I think tomorrow... I should be good to go, potentially, for another bonus stream. And I think we'll try to finish off Etna mode at that time. But otherwise, uh, so far the difficulty is not too bad. Their levels are high, but they mostly don't seem to have gear. I'm definitely worried by the time we get to the final chapter that they're gonna have, like, absolutely insane busted broken gear. And that's gonna make our life absolutely miserable. So we're going to have to take advantage of some clever stacking and see if we could get Kirk meleeing a little bit more to build up his meter. Since if he could even get 5 or 10% more stats from his weapons, that's pretty huge. And we already know that if we really want to, 
I can force Imperimeter and Chris to basically buff each other over and 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 over. And over. So I prefer not to do that. I want to kind of have it naturally happen as we play the stages. But I would like Chris and um, Imperimeter to end up with rank 10 by the end of the next chapter. I don't think it'll happen, but they should at least get up to 9 or so. Because we seem to gain about a level every two stages or so. So our goal will be to hit rank 10 at least by the start of the next chapter. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's a lot of stages in these episodes, so it wouldn't surprise me if we're within 8 or 9 stages of total completion. And then after that, we'll see where it goes. But I think for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and hope to see you again in the next part.